Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome on in. How are ya? How you doing? So nice to see you all. I am so excited for today's stream. My goodness, I I know I'm late. I I'll never be on time to a Sunday stream. That's what I've that's what I've learned. That's what I've decided. <laughs> Welcome on in, Jamie. So nice to see you. We have our wonderful mod, Jamie. So be extra super duper nice to her, okay? Because she does so much here and makes it so wonderful for us to all connect and hang out. So thank you, lovely, for being here. Uh, we have Kiara Banana and Amanda Red and Simon and Steffa. Welcome, welcome on in. My goodness, I feel like I'm still waking up. I already had one cup of tea and I'm like, do I get another? <laughs> It's like way too soon for me to get another. I usually like wait until my first tea like makes me crash. So usually about 2 p.m. and then uh, then I get another one. <laughs> so we got water here. Steph, enjoy your lurk. Yes, enjoy dinner. Enjoy your lurk. We will be here when you get back. Go enjoy. Uh, Amanda, read you're good and you're playing Sims 3. Ooh, what's going on in your Sims 3 game? I'm so glad you're good. Yes, Jamie, me too. Oh, I feel like it's been forever since we played The Sims 3. But I think, oh, let's see, Tuesday was the last time we played. <clears throat> I didn't decide yet today. I kind of talked about this yesterday about us possibly checking out the house. That's my real life house that we're buying. Um, possibly working on it today. But then I was like, maybe we just want to do like current household stuff. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what we want to do. Also, I realized... I'm in the wrong, not the wrong chat, but I have two chat boxes and I just realized that I'm not using the one I normally use. It confused me. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, this looks different. <laughs> also, oh my gosh, I was thinking this morning about how yesterday we had so many tech difficulties. In the past few weeks, I've had like really random stuff like stop working. I had where my videos that I'm exporting for my VODs on my VOD channel. Feel free to use our VODs command to go uh, sub on there and uh, check out past <clears throat> past streams if you need to. Sorry, my voice is still warming up. But I realized Mercury is in retrograde and it is until the end of June. And I was like, oh, duh. <laughs> I always have tech issues when Mercury's in retrograde every single time, every freaking time. So literally I could see the change because I can see the timestamps of when I rendered videos and the week um before before mercury went into retrograde i was fine i was rendering videos in like two three hours which is decent for such a heavy stream it's higher quality da, da, da. and then i'm literally having fam i'm not even joking it's been taking me 14 hours 14 hours to render a like three hour four hour stream and I'm like, what happened? What changed? I don't understand. And I literally was thinking this morning, I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> Mercury's in retrograde and it's causing all my crap to stop working. And it's driving me ugh, wild. Um, <clears throat> Kiara, you're playing some Sims right now. Heck yes. Uh, what uh, installment are you playing? One, two, three, four. <laughs> um, Aw, Jamie, you've been putting enough playing because you don't want your Sims to, or your Gen 3 to age. Do it, Jamie. Come on. You got this. You got this. Hi, Kay. Welcome on in. How are you? Happy Sunday to you. Whoops. You're working on your Sim house and then your Sim self will get married. Oh, I love that. I literally, when I was younger, I, anytime I played The Sims 2, I always made myself and I always played my Sim self. And then now, like, I don't really want to play my Sim self. I don't know why, but like... I'm like, I'd rather play any other sim but myself. <laughs> I'm too boring. I'm too boring. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in to the Pixel fam. I'm glad you can join us today. Thank you, Jamie. That's our VODs command fam. Go and sub over there. Um, I'm posting all of the past streams on there now. It's just so much easier to watch stuff on YouTube than it is here on Twitch. Um, so I'm trying to catch up on backlog. I've almost finished rendering May. I would have been done already if my videos weren't taking 14 hours to render. My computer has not turned off in like a week and <laughs> it stresses me out. Uh, you're playing your BACC in The Sims 2 right now? Oh, I love that, Simon. Um, 
Let's see, I'll have to go in some times and stuff to do something for uni. Oh no, yes. Wait till it cools down for sure. <laughs> Wait till it cools down. But I'm glad you can join us. I hope your uh, your BACC is uh, going well. I hope it's going well. Hi, Kate Savage. Welcome on in. So nice to see you. How are ya? And I am. I'm having a good day. Nick made a yummy, yummy breakfast. I was so hungry. I woke up and I was like, I'm so hungry. And so we had um, cinnamon raisin bagels with fried eggs, not on the bagels because I don't like that, but uh, eggs on the side, fried eggs on the side, uh, cherries. We got some organic, really yummy cherries from Trader Joe's. So we finished off the box today because we're going to Trader Joe's today, grocery shopping after stream. Um, and then we also had uh, bacon and I was like, oh, such a special like breakfast. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aurora Zimps grabbed another cup of tea for 14 more months. Heart, 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 heart. Oh, I thought that was another one. <laughs> Aurora Sims, lovely. Thank you so much for that resub for 14 months. That is wild. So wild. Thank you so much, lovely fam. Can we spam that love in the chat for Aurora Sims? Lovely. I hope you're doing well. I'm glad you can join us. I hope you're having a good Sunday. It's so nice to see you. Um, hi, Lemony Sims. Welcome on in. Um, why is my... The song is like talking. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, so glad you're talking about Mercury being in retrograde. Fam. <laughs> I'm telling you, tell me. Tell me how it makes sense that my videos were rendering in like two hours. And then literally Mercury in retrograde happens. And now it's taking 14 hours. 14 hours. What? Nothing changed. Nothing on my computer changed. I have no clue what happened. And so now I'm just blaming it on Mercury and retrograde. <laughs> That's just what I've decided. Okay, I'm so glad you're good. I'm glad you can join us too. And thank you for being here. Um, Jamie, you've never played or made a Sims self. It can be fun. I enjoyed it a lot more like back when I was younger and played in The Sims 2. I used to always give myself, I was always a family Sim and I always had a bunch of kids. And I usually made Nick Jonas. I married him at some point. <laughs> That's usually how it went. Oh, Kara 3, of course. We love to see it. You started a new generation a week ago. Oh my gosh, I would love to see a simpler. If you make one, feel free to share it on our Discord. 100%. I would love to see that. Oh, Kate Savage. Yes. Breakfast. It was such a good breakfast. <laughs> I was like, this is so good. It was like, treat yourself with the bacon. And it was like, it always tastes better when Nick makes it than like when I make it because food tastes better when other people make it for you. I've just decided. So I'm glad it's going well. But I don't know if I wanted to go it, wanted it to go that smoothly. Ooh, you need some like drama. <laughs> My first sim on her first attempt dug up a treasure which was worth almost as much as her net worth. Oh, dang, that's lucky. I never in The Sims 2 have my Sims dig for treasure. I need to, ouch, ouch. <laughs> oh, Rory, I love you, thank you. You're all good. Oh, wait, you're doing apartment hunting today? Lovely, enjoy. I hope you can find the right one. Um, and I wish you the best of luck with it. That sounds so fun. Yes, Jamie, I honestly feel like I'm falling apart these these past couple days too, <laughs> this past week. Oh my gosh. But um, honestly, yeah, I think Mercury, if I remember right, Mercury retrograde for each of like your star signs and everything, your alignment, I think it affects everyone differently or does it each different season that it happens in affects a certain specific thing for everyone. I can't remember, but I remember reading for this Mercury retrograde that is going to affect technology, but I don't think it always affects technology. I feel like it always affects it for me, but um, like I know sometimes it can affect communication and relationships. And I can't remember if it's like your alignment specific or if it's like season specific for everyone. If you know, let me know because I do not remember. But I remember reading for me at least that technology is going to screw up my technology. And I'm like, <laughs> Stefa, welcome back, lovely. Or no, <laughs> or not. <laughs> lurk, unlurk. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk. Yes, our Discord has been so much fun. We always have fun on the Discord, but I have been trying really hard to be more in there. Um, I still need to make some changes and add stuff that I want to. It's gone put on the back burner. <sighs> I have to be kind of honest with you all. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not very, like, okay. 
I try to be open with you all as much as possible. So I'm going to be. I'm just going to be. I have been seriously struggling, especially this past week, the past couple days. I don't know if any of you have noticed. I probably, I really haven't been on social media as much as I typically am, especially like on Twitter and stuff. Um, I've been like popping in and then like not on for the rest of the day. I've been very delayed in replying to messages. I've been struggling just like mentally, um, kind of physically, just like energy wise. Um, but three weeks ago I started, uh, weaning from breastfeeding with Adelaide. And when I weaned with Emerson back when I was pregnant with Adelaide, um, it caused me to like give extremely depressed uh, because when you stop breastfeeding you stop getting that little surge of uh, oxytocin and stuff like that which is your you know happy hormone and so uh, it's been rough it's been really rough um I like yesterday I kept telling Nick I'm like after stream I was like I just want to cry like I just feel like I need to sit down and just have like a really good cry and I'm like I don't know why I feel like this I just feel really off I've had a lot of more like mood swings so then yesterday during stream, I just felt kind of off the whole stream. And I was like, I hate that. Like, I want to be happy on stream and enjoy time with you all. And it's just been rough. So if I'm a little bit more quiet on social media or not just like posting as much or like really creating, it's because I just don't feel like creating right now. Uh, just because my body is going through like this. <laughs> That's how my brain feels. Anyways, I just want to be honest with you all because I don't want to be like, I'm just like happy all the time because I'm not <laughs> not happy all the time. I try to be because stream makes me happy. Being here with you all makes me happy and I enjoy the time that we spend together. So I try to put on, you know, my happy vibes, but thank you so much for all the love. I really appreciate that. So yeah, I just want to be honest. If I things seem a little quiet or off or I'm just not putting as like much effort into streams and content, and that's why. This is because I feel like I can't give fully of myself at the moment, but I will still be streaming as much as possible, of course. I don't really plan on taking a break or de like delaying or postponing streams, but I just wanted to tell you all where my headspace was at. Just be honest with you, you know? Thank you for all the love, though, and I really appreciate you all just being so supportive and just being here and just hanging out with me, so thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Mickey. Welcome on in. And Andram, welcome on in. Always having a thing for Nick's. I really did. Nick Jonas. I married a Nick. How did we get here? <laughs> uh, how are you, Mickey and Andrea? How you doing? That makes so much sense. The Mercury's in retrograde. This week has been like crazy stressful and everything kept going wrong. I'm telling you. <laughs> Mercury in retrograde. It really affects. I'm, I'm saying like, I completely forgot it, it was a thing. And then I was like, why is all my tech stuff breaking? <laughs> and that's why. Mac, welcome on in. Lovely, how are ya? Ooh, you have a rule for it, Simon? You can only dig in already existing holes as when a dog creates one. And you can only dig once per hole. Oh, wow, that is extremely lucky. Wow, making that money. Heck yes. You all are so heckin' sweet, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here and just making me feel happy. Truly, it helps. <laughs> it truly helps. Um, how's everyone's weekend going? How is your Sunday going? What have you been up to? I am so excited to play Sims 3 today. <laughs> I am like so pumped for it. This is Mac. You're good. Just kind of tired. I get that. I'm still waking up. Like I feel like I'm not fully awake yet. <laughs> I woke up a little bit later today. I was up at 7 a.m. I didn't get a workout in beforehand, which I figured I wouldn't because I wanted to be able to sleep in a little bit. So I'll get one later, maybe after Trader Joe's or something. We're going to Trader Joe's, doing grocery shopping, and I'm so excited. <laughs> I get so excited. I meal planned for this week as well. Um, and I'm... I have so many good meals planned. I'm just like, okay, I'm kind of excited to like make these meals, which never happens. I really hate cooking. <laughs> um, you're making a sim cell to make J hope from BTS. See, okay. Like there's nothing like, I love the solidarity that like, yes, like I'm not the only one that ever made my crush <laughs> in the Sims and then like married them. <laughs> it's not weird, right? It's not weird. I love that other, other people do it too. It's not just me I feel way less alone for sure. 
Um, we also have a uh, new lovely of the week stuff happening today. So we'll be rolling for that here soon. Give people a few more minutes to get in here. Um, and then also, okay. I kind of talked about this briefly a few minutes ago about how, so we have my Sims house, like my Sims self house, my Sim self house, um, the house that we're actually buying in real life and pixel blobs, who is a wonderful, wonderful viewer here, who is just so amazing at building. I'm always so blown away. Um, but, uh, sent me a house of my house. Cause I was struggling on stream back on Tuesday and oh, I have like an eyelash poking me. Come on eyelash. And uh, they sent me the house. So I don't know if you all would be interested in checking that out. We spend a little bit of time doing that and then hop into current households or should we just hop into current household stuff? Should we do a poll? Should we do a poll? Uh, it's not weird, but I'm so paranoid that I think it's gonna get leaked to them so I don't do it. <laughs> mine, was always, mine was always Nick Jonas. So <laughs> thankfully mine could never like get sent to Nick Jonas and be like, <laughs> Oh my goodness. when I used to play the Sims one, when I was younger, so I was like eight years old and I didn't own the game. Um, cause my parents wouldn't buy it for me, but they would let me go and play it at my friend's house who introduced me to it. That's how I found the Sims community and everything. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Oh, I have a hair on my face. Ah, anyways. Um, <laughs> I always used to make my, my elementary school crush and he, well, okay, that's not true. I used to rotate through my few crushes. So we would start a new game. I would play like a different, so <laughs> I'd make whoever I had the biggest crush on at that time, which was like a rotation, you know? And so we would play them and we would, it was so fun because it was three of us. So it was me and then the two of them were sisters and we played Sims 1 on their dad's laptop. <laughs> this is like work laptop and we would play sims one and we would take turns so we would set a timer for about like 15 minutes or so and then we would rotate and then like i would have a turn 15 minutes would be up and then we would switch and we all just sat there and watched each other's sims and like there was always chaos going on and i mean the oldest uh, sister she was like 13 as so i think it was like 13 11 and then me who was eight <laughs> i just always made my crush <laughs> And they were like real. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh, thank you, Stefa. I really appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for that love. I appreciate you a lot. You all gave me my feels. You want to see the housing game? I have worked on it um a little bit off camera because I needed to landscape and stuff. So I have worked on it a bit more. We could take a little another look at it. Uh, oh, thank you for the poll. Oh my gosh, I totally missed that. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys go and vote on it, on what you want to do, whether we, we're going to do current household no matter what, but we might check out my Sims self house for a little bit. I can give you a little bit of a tour. Hi, Michaela, welcome on in. Sometimes it's okay to have an off period and having less happy-go-lucky streams are okay too. We don't expect you to be all we <laughs> all the time. We just expect you to be you in all your glory. And you can't be that. If you push yourself to be falsely happy-go-lucky, we'd rather have you take the time you need, stream the streams you want, and protect yourself. Andrea, you can't give me my feels this early. <laughs> Thank you, though, lovely. I really appreciate that. And it's exactly like the message that I needed for sure. So thank you. And thank you for all of you just giving me love and allowing me to be open in this space. I really appreciate it so much. Um, uh, whenever I made my crushes in the Sims, it never worked out, but when I stopped making them, it did work. <laughs> Wait, so you would make them and in real life, like they wouldn't like, like you, but then if you didn't make them in the Sims, then you got together. Is that what you're telling me, Kay? So it's like, if you really wanted a relationship, you're like, I'm not making them in the Sims. Like I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Yes, Andrea, your ramble totally made sense. I totally understand it, understood it, and I really appreciate it. And I want this to be a positive, uplifting space, of course, but I also want to be able to be myself. And I am someone that I usually have walls up. Like, I am a very reserved person when I first meet people. I don't, like, tell you my whole life story. I am not necessarily cold. Um, but just reserved and it takes me a while to open up. So even within just this year of really committing to streams and stuff, I have changed so much and opened so much more to all of you because I trust you all. Um, yay, perfect. Okay. Sim self house. Let's do it. 
let's do it. I'm gonna get that starting to load up while we finish up uh, just chatting. Um, so yeah, so thank you. Thank you for just allowing me to be myself and to be here and to be in this space with all of you. I just, I really appreciate it. And it's been something that truly has helped me <laughs> so much this year, like literally, I don't know how I would have survived 2020 with all of you. So, <laughs> oh man, that would have been rough. That would have been really rough. Your crush is a boy, you know. So, well, now we're learning that you probably don't want to jinx it. So don't make them in real life or don't make them in, <laughs> don't make them in real life. That makes no sense. <laughs> don't make them in the, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to get past me saying real life. Okay. <laughs> I'm just loading up my game. Okay, let's roll for our new lovely of the week. Mitochondria, thank you so much for being a wonderful lovely. I appreciate you. Uh, we have a new one, and I'm thinking they'll get the choice. <laughs> I have really two options right now. It'll change soon. Um, lovely of the week is um, we'll get to decide which current household we play, or I'll give them a free stream loots pack, um, whatever they decide, whichever one. And it'll be all good. Oh my gosh, Kay, you really wanted to, but you're like, no, I don't want to jinx. <laughs> oh man, that cracks me up so much. That is too funny. That is too heckin' funny. I love that. It never worked like that for me. But you know, you know. Okay, so lovely the week is for our subbies here who really just give you know, a little hint of extra support. And I like to give them a little bit of a shout out each week back to them, give them a little, a little something, something. So um, if you are a subscriber, um, you'll be able to enter by doing exclamation mark enter. Um, I'll give you about a minute to enter on in. So if you are a subbie, feel free to do so. Um, and then you can decide, um, either which current household we play today out of a few options, or, um, you can have a free stream loots pack, which if you don't know what stream loots is, use our cards command and go check it out. Um, I have some new cards I added in last week. Um, and they're really fun. They're like random packs that you can get that, um, basically you can kind of in a way control or influence what happens in our gameplay. So it'll be perfect for our current household stuff here in a little bit. Um, feel free to go in and enter right now and um, do exclamation mark enter. I'll give you about 30 more seconds. And yeah, we'll roll that and then get that going. Let me load up my game real quick. Finish loading that up. Um, <laughs> I'm super excited though. Pixel Blobs did an amazing job on it. Um, actually, I think they shared it on the Discord. Um, so you should be able to go in our Discord section to build and design or build in, is it build and design or something like that? Um, okay, let me go through. Okay, I am going to roll it. Let's see who it is today. Vibrant, lovely. <laughs> you won lovely you're our lovely of the week thank you so much fam can we get some hype in the chat for vibrant please lovely congratulations would you like a stream loots pack or to decide our current household later our options are going to be jack hammond um nicole calvin the cooper siblings possibly one other person but i have to check Hattie, hi Maddie Crossing, welcome on in. And thank you so much uh, for linking those, uh, the cards command in there. Heck yes, also I'm clicking all the wrong stuff. There we go, I, I lost my chat. Also, can we talk? Emerson made me this. We have these like buildable flowers. I have to move it to get to my letters <laughs> to change the board. But this was on top of it. He made me this the other night. He brought it to me, he said, mama, it's for you. <laughs> I was like, thank you so much. He made this little flower pot. He's so precious. He's so precious. I have a table right here that I'm using. We got a new plant, by the way, if you missed that. Um, hi, Calamain. Welcome on in. How are ya? Welcome, welcome. Congrats, Vibrant. Um, anyway, I have so much stuff I have to get through to get to my letters. My desk is a mess right now. He is adorable. I absolutely love my children so much. Literally, they were so cute last night. They got to stay up a little bit late because uh, we had wings for dinner, which was delicious. Um, and then we, sorry, I have to open my box. Ah. 
And so we had wings for dinner. So we watched a movie, we watched a uh, night at the museum battle of the Smithsonian or whatever. Cause we watched the first one, the last week. And so <laughs> Emerson loved it. Adelaide loved it, but it was just super cute. Oh, I don't want to push buttons. Uh, let's see. I don't need an M. I need an I T. Anyways, it was just so adorable. They were just dancing and jumping around and going, yes, oh, yes. And I like kept going, wow, wow. <laughs> I was just like, they're so cute. Like, I'm obsessed with my children, and I, I don't know if that's normal. But they were so adorable. Uh, so I love them so much. Um, an L. Sorry, I'm just trying to see what letters I need. Okay, let's get this a going for Vibrant. Oh, yes, Vibrant. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you for the little extra support you give me each month. And I just appreciate you just always being here and hanging out with us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy Lovely of the Week. Whoops. And all that good stuff. A little charmer. He is. He's been so... Oh, my gosh. Like, he's going to be turning four in August. So coming up really soon. And... He has become so different. Like when he started at being three years old, he's three and a half right now, obviously. He, it was a lot. Two years old and three, year, three years old was really tough, just emotionally for him, just being a parent for us. Like he was just, has been a lot. And he has become so sweet and so thoughtful and like so kind. And I'm just like, he'll just come up to me all the time and just be like, I love you. Or he tells me now, I love you too. That's why he comes up to me. He goes, I love you too. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> but yeah, he's just become like so thoughtful. And I'm just like, oh, it's so cool. It's so cool to see your kids like grow and evolve and change. I mean, when he was two years old, he, uh, for those of you that, that don't know, Emerson has a um, sensory processing disorder. He was diagnosed back at the beginning of 2020. Basically, his brain either takes in too much or too little of his senses. So, like, touching stuff can either be too stimulating or not stimulating enough. Um, stuff like that. So, for him, it caused him, ever since he was a baby, to really, like, anyway, act out. Because he was so, like, his environment just felt overwhelming for him. Um, so, it's been a long journey uh, for all of us. I'm trying to find S. It's been a long journey for all of us, and it's been extremely tough. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on, welcome on in. Um, so to see him now evolving, he'll tell me now. The other day, he was upset about his fort falling down, that I, I'd built him a fort. And uh, he was very upset about it because it kept falling. And so he told me, he goes, Mama, I'm mad. <laughs> I'm, or no, angry. He said angry, not mad. He said, Mama, I'm angry. And he had his little fist, like all, like, <laughs> in a fist. And I was like, okay, well, let's take a deep breath, you know. And so he calmed down and we fixed his fort. But it was just so cute for him to, like, tell me, like, his feelings and his emotions. Because before, his fort falling down, like, something so simple like that would have caused him to melt down for, like, 30 minutes to an hour and just cry and be upset. So to not have that has just been wonderful. I want to be a fly on the wall next time you play a movie. The kids are super into. They love it. They uh, had um, Nick and I had date night a few weeks back. And so they got to hang out with grandma and grandpa, eat Chinese food and watch um, a movie. And they watched um, Despicable Me for the first time. And they loved it. They were like laughing so hard. I could hear them. They were like, laughing so hard. <laughs> Um, hi, Jay. Welcome on in. How are you? Thank you for asking. I am wonderful. I am wonderful. I am just putting together a letter board, which I'm almost done with. And uh, we're going to be hopping into Sims 3 here in a moment. Mama of the, of the year. Oh, my gosh. You're so sweet. Thank you. I try my best. I'm not perfect. I yell. I get mad. <laughs> it just is what it is um, as a parent. Like, you can try your best, but you're still gonna screw up. And I go, okay, let's try again tomorrow. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna have to adjust this after stream, but. Ah, the eye fell off. I hope I spelled it right. Vibrant, did I spell it right? <laughs> like vibrant, did I spell this right? 
There we go. There we go. Heck yes. Maddie Crossing grabbed another cup of tea for two more months. Maddie! Lovely. Thank you so much for that resub for two heckin' months, fam. Can we get that love going on in the chat? Please, please, please. George, welcome on in. And Godspeed, welcome, welcome. How are ya? How you doing? Subby of the week was Vibrant Simlish. <laughs> it looks so bad on camera because I need to I need to adjust all that. I need to recenter it. I shall do that later. Um, but yeah, Vibrant. Also, Vibrant. I don't know if I missed your message on or not. If you want the stream loots pack or if you want to decide our current household later. Or if you want to keep thinking on it until we get to that point. Feel free to let me know. Um, okay, we are hopping into The Sims 3. So those of you that are just now joining us, you're joining us at the perfect time. Um, how's everyone's weekend going though? I would love to know. I'd love to know. Um... Yeah, I don't know why the sub command, or not the, the sub, the love command is not working. Let me see. See if I can get it. Yeah. Yeah, it works for me. It could be, yeah, it could be what Jamie's saying that maybe there has to, um, stream elements might be, pre might be preventing it from being spammed in a way. So it might need like a little bit of, um time in between it mitochondria welcome on in our previous lovely of the week how are you welcome welcome i'm glad you can join us sorry my game's gonna take a moment to register in obs um you watched raya in the last dragon yes michaela actually the kids watched that yesterday while i was streaming <laughs> the kids had a movie day yesterday oh also i went downstairs after stream and nick had completely cleaned the entire kitchen like <laughs> he did all the hand dishes, cleaned out the sink, cleaned down the entire table. And I've been feeling so stressed about it recently because I just haven't had time to really like clean it. So my parents are actually gone right now. Um, helping out with my grandma. She's actually, um, she had a surgery yesterday. Um, and they are taking care of her at the moment and being with her. So, um, I've been here like managing the house by myself <laughs> it has been very stressful. So he was very thoughtful and like cleaned it. I'm just like, my family is so cute. I love them so much. George, you're playing, or you're, you're not playing. You're eating pizza. <laughs> How's your pizza? What kind of pizza did you get? Please tell me not pineapple. I'm, just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can eat whatever you want. Um, hi, Abis, Abisa, Welcome on in. How are ya? How you doing? Yeah. It might have a cool down. I'll have to look into that um, after stream and check it out. Um, I would prefer for it to not have a cool down. Um, actually, I might be able to pull it up here real quick because I already have stream elements loaded. Let me go look at my commands, my love command. There shouldn't be a cool down on it. Like I don't think I put it on there. Advanced settings. Ooh, there is a cooldown, which is just automatic. I didn't put it in there. It has a 15 second second cooldown. I'm just gonna I'm I removed it. Okay, I removed it. So everyone should be able to spam it now. <laughs> for the love command, I really want us to be able to spam it. So thank you for letting me know. I fixed it. I didn't know that there was an automatic one on there. Uh, oh, Kate Savage, you had a very chill and relaxing weekend after coming back from a little trip. Oh, I love that. That sounds amazing. I always love just refreshing like, or not, yeah, refreshing like that. Yes, go Nick. Honestly, get you a partner like Nick. He is so thoughtful and so helpful and so caring. And it's just like, heck yes. I'm so lucky. Um, Metaconjure, we don't know which household we're going to be playing yet. We'll be voting on it here in a little bit, possibly. Um... Let's see. Can you spam it now? Spam it? Possibly. <laughs> I don't know if it works. Ooh, a stuffed cheese crust. Oh, that's good. I used to love stuffed cheese crust. It's so good. Oh, man. Oh, that makes me hungry. Yeah, no, I completely agree, Andrea. I don't know what was happening with that. It should be working now. Maybe. Maybe. It seems like it's not wanting to work. Stream elements. Get it together. Um, let's see. 
Okay. I have it all good to go. Yeah, it should all be good to go. It should work now. How out hi L Rise, welcome on in. How are ya? Good morning to you. Hi, Stefan, welcome back. You're all good. You're all good. Welcome, welcome. Okay, fam. So those of you that missed our Tuesday stream, this is my house. <laughs> this is my real life house. It's obviously not finished or anything. Um, but I was struggling building it because it's kind of like a split multi-level and building it in the Sims is way more complicated than I realized. So we had a wonderful viewer, Pixel Blobs, um, uh, build it for me. <laughs> it's so thoughtful, seriously. Um, so let me give you the little tour. There's still some things that don't fully pan out properly in the sims um and it's not done yet or anything i did go in and add like the color of the flooring that it is installed in the house right now that i'll be changing out and then this is kind of like what the wall color is maybe a little bit darker um so this is the entryway slash i, kinda, I call it the main area main living space because it's just like that first level um this is pretty much what it looks like it's so cool to see it in the sims oh my goodness Stefa101 shared the love to MOO line. Stefa101 gifted a tier 1 sub to MOO line. Aww, Stefa, thank you so much for gifting that sim. Or that sim? What the fudge, Bernie? That sub. <laughs> um, to Moolin, welcome on in. Thank you so much, lovely. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some logo on in the chat? Please, please, please. Um... <laughs> yeah, Stream Elements is totally being a diva. My goodness. No, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's wanting to cause us issues. So I apologize. We keep spamming that love. Feel free. Feel free. Um, anyway, so yeah, so this is like the main area. The ceiling goes up to the height of the roof line. So technically, technically, like this isn't here. Because it's like the roof line, like that. So you can see the roof actually like slope up. Um, like that. It's really cool. Actually. I really like the roof line in it uh, inside the house um, This is going to be by the way for the kids <laughs> I'm making this like their play area uh, It'll be really pretty and aesthetic, but it's gonna be like their toys and their little table Probably put some plants right here in front of the the window um, So yeah, and then over here is like the dining area, which is very tiny and it's gonna be difficult, but you know, it works. Um, and then you have a change in the, the ceiling height right here, so it's like lower. And then you go into the kitchen, um, and oh, this kitchen I struggled with. So I'm so glad that Pixel Blobs was just so awesome and uh, did this for me. Seriously, so thoughtful and so kind and so talented. Um, anyways, this is the kitchen, and I'll be recoloring it to be like what it is now and then what we'll be changing it to. But I absolutely like love this window, which is actually like really tall right here. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on into the Pixel Fam. Um, and then like a little pantry right here. This goes out to the garage, which actually our garage is bigger than this. Look at that tree coming in. Um, <laughs> uh, our garage is bigger than this in real life, like comparison to the rest of the house. Um, it's a two car garage. And technically this is like one car, but in the Sims, we have some limitations. Oh, Amanda Red, I love that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. And truly, like, <laughs> you just go with it. Go with the flow with it. I still think you should use this house for one of the Hammonds. Oh, my gosh. I know. I, I've thought about possibly using it, but you'll see in a moment. The spacing is, like, it would cause so much routing issues. Oh, thank you, George. I appreciate it. So, yes, I worked on it, worked on it a little bit. Technically, like this is just a stair step down, but this is like lower, if that makes sense. It's really kind of confusing. Our house has so many different like levels, which I didn't realize until now. <laughs> um, this is our deck, which I still need to like recolor and add the color of the wood and everything. Um, anyways, so you come over here. Sorry, my Google clock's going off. You come downstairs. All these lights I'll be removing. Uh, Pixel Blob just put this in so that we can actually see, you know. I know it can be kind of hindering. Um, so over here is, I'm calling it the living room. We have a fireplace here, and this is gonna be like where our TV area is, our couch. Um, it'll be perfect for watching TV since the sun won't really shine in too, too much. Um, this is a west facing room, which means that's where the sun sets. So it'll be perfect for like movies and stuff like that. 
Um, and then we have our washer and dryer right here, which we have to buy one. I've never bought a washer and dryer, so that's gonna be fun. Um, and then we have a little powder bathroom, which yes, it is actually this like a two by two. In real life, the toilet's kind of spaced like to the side more. There's like an actual walking space in between here, but in The Sims, it just doesn't translate well. Right, Stefa? Honestly, it's like the dream. I'm living the dream right now. It's amazing. Um, and then this is like our office. So it's downstairs. Technically, I might need to raise this up. Technically, the land comes to about here on the house. So along here is where the land kind of raises up. So we're like in a basement, but kind of not. It's called a garden level basement. Um, and then there's a closet right here. I just had to use this as closet doors. They don't look like this. But this will be where I stream in the future. And then Nick's desk will have to fit in here too. It's a pretty small room in real life too. So <laughs> we're going to figure that out. Um, and then you go upstairs. And this is what I'm talking about. In real life, technically it's like this. Technically, this isn't even actually like this fully. There's like a diagonal wall here, which I don't know if I can even maybe portray that in. It's very complicated because I can't add in exactly how it would be, but something kind of like this. Um, anyway, so you walk upstairs and there's like this like little circle of doors, which I so badly want to get rid of this door. Um, thank you, Simon. It's, it has a lot of stuff that we need to work on in real life. Um, it's about 1500 square feet. So a decent amount of space for us, for four people. Um, it's just like the right size. I didn't want obviously too big of a house. We can't even afford that big of a house because the housing market is wild. But um, it's the right size house for us. It really is. In The Sims, it feels like cramped. But like when I've been there, it doesn't, you know? Uh, so this is our upstairs bathroom. We'll be sharing this with the kids and stuff. I've thought about removing this door and just like drywalling it for storage and putting some like cute shelves here and stuff. But we might have to just do shelves here or something. But yeah, that's the bathroom. Master bedroom right here, which is actually a really like decent size. I'm thinking bed right here, side tables, um, maybe dresser possibly right there. I don't know. We have a huge closet, which is super cool. Nick and I have never had this big of a closet. And then you come around this way and this is the kids room with the stupid off-centered window. I hate it, but just is what it is. Um, and so kids room and then their closet technically in real life goes all the way back to here, right here where my mouse is. It won't let me um, because of all the constraints and stuff that we've had to do in here in this house. I, it won't let me. So <laughs> their closet is not this tiny. Their closet is actually really giant. Like it just keeps going and going. It's really cool. Oh, Andrea, I'm so glad you enjoyed watching the, the building stream back. It was an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> It was a struggle. And building at like night for me, I just forget how to do anything. CFE is a, a pain for sure. A cuckoo clock emotes. We do. I want to do a revamp on our emotes. Um, I just haven't found an artist yet that I uh, like truly just like I'm obsessed with, you know? Thank you, Michaela. I appreciate it. Madeline, welcome on in. How are you? How you doing? Uh, so then this is a really weird area in real life. There is these stairs that kind of, they kind of curve, um, off of the kid's bedroom. So technically the stairs should actually come to like right here, like a diagonal and then they curve around and I can't fill in this space right here. Like at all. I tried putting columns underneath. It doesn't work. So there's a gap. Typically, like in real life, there's not a gap, but I still wanted to show this space and this is like a loft area and I'm going to be making this like the kids quiet corner reading area. It's super, super cool. Um, and it looks down into this part of the house, which is, oh, it's just so cool. Oh, Xander180402 grabbed another cup of tea for two more months. Aww. Hi. Hi, Xander. Thank you so much for that resub. I really appreciate the past two months and just thank you for being here. How is your weekend going? How are ya? I know. See, the Sims would have trouble getting around. They'd be so picky. Could extend it a little bit for gaming purposes so they'll be able to walk there. I mean, possibly. 
Possibly. We'll see. If I end up loving the house, like this might just be a house I can just like, if I have an idea for something I want to do in real life, just go and try and apply it here and see if I like it. It might just be like my little demo house for that, you know? Thank you for sharing all that love with Xander fam. I appreciate you. Growing up, the closet in my room had a panel that led to the closet with all the Christmas decor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Imagine my excitement when I figured that out. That is so cool. I love that mitochondria. Yeah, their closet is giant. It's like the length of ours. But then like you walk in like where, so I'm pointing to my screen. You can't even see that. Like right here, pretend like this is like the front of their closet door and it like extends back all this way. It's really cool. Um, so lots of storage, lots of space, which is really nice. <laughs> you can never have too much of that, uh, especially with kids. Anyway, so yeah, this is the loft space. I just wanted to make sure that we had it at some place in the house, you know, um, to make it so I can test out stuff on it. But it doesn't look this wonky in real life. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, it's like, it's cool because every space feels so accessible. It's not too closed off, but it's not too open concept either. I really love that. Uh, so you come outside. I showed you the deck already a little bit. Um, the stairs for the deck aren't like this. There's li literally only two steps. So the deck on here is much higher. I just don't want to mess around with. Oh, hi. Thank you. Hey, come here. Come here. She brought me a straw. I asked for a straw earlier. Come here. You want to say hi? Oh, baby. You're getting so big. Hi. That. That. Yeah? No. Oh, you going to play? You smell like outside. Did you play outside? Daddy. You did? did you? Daddy. Outside? Daddy. Oh. Daddy. The dice? Daddy. Oh, bubbles? Mm. Did you do bubbles? Mm. You got a little bigger. Did you do bubbles? Mm. Oh, you did. Oh, I love that. Dada did your hair today, I see. <laughs> oh, you sleepy? Daddy. Oh, no, we're not going to go upstairs. I love you. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, I'd rather nurse now. I love you. Oh, no, baby. At least I got my celery straw. <laughs> the famous celery straw. These straws are so cool. I literally, like, sponsor me straws. I don't even know the brand. These are super cool, though. I got them off Amazon for Easter for the kids. And I wanted a reusable straw um, that was easy to use, easy to clean. And so they come apart like this. So you can stick them in the dishwasher and they get all clean. So you don't have to worry about mold or anything. And then you just like rehook it together. It's so cool. I absolutely love it. She's babbling so much. She talks so much. She tells me so much random stuff. And like there's times I'm like, girl, I don't know what you're saying to me. Can I steal? <laughs> Andrew's admitting on the internet that she would like to steal my child. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, Jamie. There's the straws. Should we get a command for it? I need to get like a straw command. <laughs> They're really awesome. And you get so many different colors in the entire pack for like less than $10. It's amazing. We would all babysit. <laughs> She's so cute. Dada got her dress today. It's not exactly the outfit I put her in, but she looks super cute no, nonetheless. Oh, we didn't even give you the whole link. Maybe go to, um, oh, what's it called? To like shorten URLs. I don't remember what it's called. No, a celery command. <laughs> you gave me, maybe I need to make it a celery command. Oh, I love that. There's like um, a place though you can go, a website you can put to shorten links. I don't remember what it's called. Short link? No. I don't remember. Oh, I know. She's grown up so much in the past year. I keep looking at her and I'm like, how do I have like an almost two-year-old? I feel like Emerson's still two. But he's going to be four. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, thank you, Jamie. Perfect. Wait, is it? It is short URL. Thank you. Yeah, I'll have to make a celery command. <laughs> oh, they're the, they're the best straws ever. I researched the heck out of them. I found them on some random blog that like was the first time I had seen them. And I was like, this is exactly what I need. Cause I just, I hate that. Like you can't fully clean out straws. Even if you have like the little brush that you can put inside the straw, it doesn't fully clean it. I worry about mold and stuff. So now that's how you get a sponsorship. Should I like, <laughs> should I message them and be like straws <laughs> sponsor me? Be like this stream is sponsored by celery straw. <laughs> that's not even the brand name. <laughs> I know pixel fan would totally be the best babysitters for sure. 
Oscar. Yes, we're working on it a little bit. I'm giving the tour right now. Um, anyway, so this is what it's like outside. We have this giant pine tree. Literally, it's like this tall compared to my house. I'm not even joking. The comparison is so real. What is this over here? What is this? What? I'm sorry. I'm in some random Sunset Valley, just like loaded up save file. I don't or not save file, but a file. I don't know what that is. Anyways, so we're getting this tree removed because it's like literally encroaching onto the house like this. Um, it's very dangerous. If it falls down, it could really damage the house. Um, so we're going to be getting this tree removed. I mean, watch this. Oh, look at that. It just really opens up the side of the house. That's so much more sunlight in, especially since it's a north facing um, house or room or side or whatever. Not north facing house. The house faces uh, east. And then west is back here. So, and then south and then north. And so the sun goes like this, which is awesome because we get morning sunlight in the kitchen, which I love. And then we get in the afternoon, or not the afternoons, in the evenings we get some sun back here, but like that warm light, you know? Just slide into their DMs like straws. <laughs> oh man. I, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, Andrew, you're so sweet. At least you know where you can pick her up after your child-free date. <laughs> oh, man. If I if you all could uh, babysit, that'd be amazing. That'd be so amazing. Wait, it's a pawn shop? Oh, it's the Ambitions Consignment Store. Wow, yeah. That, the game did a really bad job plopping that down. <laughs> For sure. Oh, I'm going to delete this out here. I don't know how this got here. It wasn't here at the beginning. Anyways, so I've gone in and landscaped a bit. There's these like really annoying trees back here that they planted when they built this house. They planted them in a freaking row. So there used to be one right here. It fell onto the house, got caught on the gutters. And so they had to get it removed, the, the owner of the house right now. I am thinking because all these trees are like leaning towards the house. They're not fully like super stable and stuff and worries me. We were talking about getting these trees removed to give us more space in the backyard possibly this tree too so we can put a guard in here and it can get sunlight so we would have this and this and it'd be like this which now looks super bare but we're gonna put a pergola here and do some vining plants right here for privacy away from our neighbors on this side um but we can use the space for garden space um chickens i'm thinking over here which you know what let's do it right now let's place down our chicken coop Let's do it. I want to. I don't know where the chickens are at. I think in outdoor stuff, actually. Uh, my living room is southwest corner. I kind of hate that combo. I feel like, actually, I'm excited that we don't have a south side with, like, windows. So the south side right here has no windows whatsoever, which kind of sucks for, like, my indoor plants. But it'll help with heating costs. And my parents have their back wall, which is like giant windows, faces the south. And so the sun sits there the whole day and it makes it super hot, especially in the summers. Um, and they don't have like higher up blinds on it because they like the sunlight and they don't have neighbors behind them. And so I just, I'm like, I'm kind of glad that we don't have that. You know, it's kind of nice. I don't think it's under lawn ornaments, maybe. Where is the chicken coop at? Does anyone know like what that would be filed under? Outdoor activities, maybe? Yes, it's in a row in the center of the yard. I'm like, this is like a waste of space. What I would have preferred is having like a tree here in the corner of the yard to maximize space. And then even having another tree back here like that. That would be ideal to me. That makes the most sense. And then they have like that giant pine tree right here, which I just absolutely hate. So, yeah, it just makes no sense. We want to put like a, a play set for the kids. I don't know whether to delete these trees yet or not. I'm going to delete them. Anyways, I'm going to show you chicken coop. I got to find the chicken coop. I keep getting distracted. Ooh, yeah, activities is what I'm thinking. I didn't finish scrolling through there. Scrolling. Chickens. If you need an au pair in a few years, I'm here. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Maybe if my streaming just really takes off. I become a full-time streamer. I'll hire one of you for sure. <laughs> Chickens. Wait, my sim is going to woohoo and I have to draw if Christy will be pregante. <laughs> Pregnant. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have a south balcony, which is, that's true. We were talking yesterday about drying clothes. 
that is perfect having a south facing balcony for sure but yeah i'm excited though to not have it like directly because in the afternoons i crash so after 2 p.m you'll see it on streams too like yesterday by 2 p.m i'm like exhausted from the day being oh my oh we know that's cows <laughs> i was like i can't fit chickens they're right here ah oh, look how cute so our chicken coop won't look exactly like this but oh i'm obsessed i'm obsessed Hold on, i'm gonna put like like a slight angle yeah come on it's like just glitching out ah, like eh, a little bit more kind of like that and then like that and then I want to fence off the area so that the chickens can free range in a bit uh, or in a way, but they won't be terrorizing the rest of like my garden and stuff like that because chickens will destroy like everything. So um, I want to be able to fence them off. No, I don't want to do that fence. I'd want to do, I don't even know what kind of fence I would do. Not that. Um, <clears throat> something cute. I mean, maybe like a little picket fence although the cost of wood is so expensive so kind of like I kind of pictured it like this I don't know if exactly like that well it's actually not bad that's actually not bad we only plan on having about three to four chickens we don't want that too many so not too many we don't want too many <clears throat> oh she's not pregante oh good Simon wait is that good <laughs> do you have too many sims right now and yes, on stream, we will have a chicken cam <clears throat> as soon as I get chickens. Um, and then we have to put a gate down. So this is just like, I'm just winging it right now. So kind of like that. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I'm going to cry. This is so cute. So kind of like this. And then the chickens will destroy the grass because uh, they love to like dig and stuff and look for animal or not animals but look for bugs and stuff so they will destroy the grass and turn it all into like um, dirt and stuff like that let me soften this down kind of blend it out a bit they're gonna destroy it anyways there's actually all mud right now or not mud but like dirt right now uh in this entire backyard there's no grass in the backyard at the moment so it'll kind of look like that kind of like that oh this is so cool sorry i'm just so excited to be able to do this oh that was a little too much kind of like that oh cute our chickens <laughs> Ooh. um I got hiccups today. Um, a couple of months ago, you accidentally deleted all your mods, Josh. So I told myself I can never play The Sims 3 again, and it hurts so much to watch other people play. No, why are you torturing yourself? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You should be able to hopefully get back, you know, some of the stuff that you downloaded. Um, but yeah, it definitely is a time exactly what Andrew said to, to reorganize. Oh, it's neutral all the way for that sim. He has one of the best houses, so <laughs> maybe negative since he got no deductions for that new boo. Oh, that's cute though. Like to, he's just living his life, you know. But a baby would be cute. I always like having babies. You all know that. Well, not exactly real life. I mean, in The Sims. <laughs> in The Sims. Anyways, oh, this is so cool. I need to smooth out this. Oh my gosh, that was not it, Brittany. Kind of like that. There's actually like a fire pit right, oh, where is it? Like kind of here-ish, which it's like built into the ground and stuff. So we'll probably be removing that anyways. Um. Anyway, so then the backyard, like I said, we remove those trees and then I want to go in and we'll get like a swing set or like a play set for the kids. My parents actually want to get one for the kids, uh, which is very generous and very kind. So I'm trying to see if we have one that like could work. Kind of like this. But not so giant. Like, it won't be this big, you know? And it'll be one that's, like, combined with a swing set. This is cute. What set is this from? Oh, this is from the uh, Town Life stuff. Oh, my gosh. Look how adorable. I've never seen this before. Anyways, I kind of picture it being kind of next to the tree a bit. 
Um, maybe not exactly there. I wanna see if I can connect like a swing set. Where is the swings? Oh dang, there's some cute options. Oh, that's really cute. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with these. Thinking just like a simple, maybe like the wooden one. You know like how they have like play sets that are like connected or whatever. Same idea, kind of like that. Something like that, it might be flipped actually. You might do it like, I might do it like this. And then have like the little swing set there. I know it's like cutting off part of the, pretend it's connected. <laughs> we're just gonna pretend it's connected. Emerald, welcome on in, how are ya? I know, the game is just so beautiful. I could never not play The Sims 3. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and thank you so much. I'm glad you can join us. How's your weekend going? Oh, he only cares for grilled cheese. Ooh, grilled cheese aspiration. How do you decide which Sims are uh, grilled cheese Sims? How do you decide that? Anyways, move this over a bit more. And then do like this. Kind of like that. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Anyway, so that there, and then over here is gonna be all garden boxes. I want to do garden boxes. I would absolutely love to have like a little green greenhouse. I don't know if that will happen. I want to be able to grow stuff even in the winter time. That's why I really want a greenhouse. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that will happen, but all like garden stuff all through here. And then we have like, oh, where is it at? I think it's in decor, miscellaneous, or is it sculptures? We have like the AC and stuff all on this side of the house. So I did want to put this down. See if I can find it. Is it this? No, that's movie accessories. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Um, maybe it is under miscellaneous decor. <clears throat> this is so random, but when I was in elementary school, then none at my school told us she was bringing in a dinosaur. So we all got excited, but it was actually a lesson on how chickens are the closest relative to the dinos as a result of evolution. Whenever you talk about chickens, I think of the teachers. Oh my gosh, wait, did they actually bring in a chicken? They brought in like an actual chicken to class? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, we had just like that placed diagonally when I was a kid. Yes, I never had one of these growing up. <laughs> So badly wanted one or like a cute little playhouse. Oh, I never had one of those either. The ones that are like miniature, but they actually look like a real house, you know? I always wanted one. So maybe someday if we have a bigger yard, we could get one for the kids. That's the fun thing about being a parent is like giving my kids stuff that I didn't get as a child. <laughs> and not because my parents didn't love me or anything, but they had like five children to take care of, you know, on a single income. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Glad you can join us today. Um, so they did their best, but there was things obviously that I just didn't get because you know, that's life. So it's fun to give that to my kids now, to be able to like provide them with, with stuff like that, which is just really cool. Anyways, AC right there. So yeah, this is the south facing side of the yard. So I feel like that would be the best place for plants and stuff, you know? Um, let's go into here or no, let's go on the outside real quick. I'm going to put down the siding, kind of show you what it looks like. Also this cherry tree right here, cherry blossom tree, the current owner, he planted one. It's literally shorter than me. I'm five, two, <laughs> it's shorter than me at the moment. Um, but it's supposed to grow up into this. Look how stunning. <laughs> Look how beautiful. I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed. So I can't wait for that to happen at some point. Um, you created a Sims based or uh, you create Sims based on a Sims randomizer from the mod of the Sims. Ooh, I think I've seen something like that. Um, the Sim got grilled cheese aspiration, but normally if I get a pleasure teen, they get a 10% chance of becoming a grilled cheese lover. I love that. Oh, wait, I think I remember you telling me that the 10% the, the chance thing. Um, hi, Miss Grace Elizabeth. Welcome on in. We are building my in real life house. I didn't fully build this. Uh, a wonderful viewer, Pixel Blobs, built it because <laughs> I was struggling. So um, they built it for me, um, and here we are. So we're kind of going in and decorating it and whatnot. They brought in an actual one. They're an actual teacher. She's what I would call a hip slash cool nun. 
<laughs> we love to see it. We love to see it. I love that so much. That is so funny. That's really cool though. Okay, the roof is like, I think it's this color. Hold on. I have to pull up a picture. <laughs> I have to pull up a picture of my actual house because I don't know what it looks like. Give me a moment. Oh no, the roof is brown. I don't even know the color of the roof. Okay, I'm gonna, that, that helps me. That helps me a lot actually. Uh, so the roof is brown, kind of like this color, but not in the terracotta tiles. Kind of like this. That's cute. Um, that's too dark. It's like a light brown. So, and it doesn't have the white trim on it. So that's why I don't want to, oh wait, this. Yeah, that's actually pretty perfect. Okay, we'll go with that. And then, let me see if I can put the siding down. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. Okay, so we have a really cool brick on this part, um, on this back part. Let me see if I can find a brick that matches it. It's like a whitewashed brick, um, which is really, really pretty. So it's not just like a brown brick. I'm actually have to go in with the pool wallpaper and do that like this. Um, it's like that. Um, let me see if I can find a brick that kind of matches it. Uh, no problem, Michaela. Thank you, Miss Grace. I appreciate that. Um, it's, yeah, it's really cool being able to like kind of see what our house is going to look like once we eventually make changes and stuff. I've been like oh, trying to figure out so much information. Um, we sign in uh, July, so I'm very excited about it. And it's been a long time coming. A long time coming for sure. Actually, it's kind of like this, but like less intense, but still brown. It just doesn't have like the dark. Ah, it's kind of like that. But it doesn't have any of those like dark pieces on it. Ah. What's this look like? That's too red, I think. Oh, I find bricks to be really difficult in the in the Sims 3. I feel like I need more patterns or something. So I can do this with like a whitewashed. Yeah. And then this isn't green, it's like a light color. I don't know what that what we call that. Ooh, kind of like this. Oh, it's kind of like this. Let me add in maybe like a hint of white into there. Oh goodness. It's not exactly like that. Kind of like that. Kind of, but it's like a little bit more whitewashed and it's a little bit more of like a brick tone to it. But I don't know if I'm gonna stress about it, you know? And then this front part is actually a different color. So kind of like that. And then there's siding on the side, which makes sense. Um, down here, and pull back up my picture. The picture really helps me. Oh wait, I forgot to put a window above here. I forgot, so there's another window above this window. Um, it's just like a, a long one. It's like long and then has one line in the middle. I don't know, wait, oh, like this. Oh man, but bigger than that. Oh, that sucks. It's like that, but not that, you know? <laughs> you feel me? It's like the same, but more different. So not the same. Which I don't have any windows that look like this, huh? Um, and I need it to be like above this window. Dang, I'm in, I think I need to download some windows, fam. Ah, uh, no. Ah! Uh, Almost like this, but not. But it's like two tile. If that was two tile, I would have used it. Nope, not that. Okay, I might have to download something. That's the one thing I wish, is that the windows were more shiftable in The Sims 3. Because they're not. <laughs> they are not fam. The struggle of matching is, is totally real. Oops. Sorry, my game's getting mad at me back into here okay let me just do the siding real quick i'll have to figure out um something to figure out like a window replacement for that so it has like the little edge stuff on the side of it like that and right now it's all like brown and i'm not like the biggest fan of it being all brown 
Um, so, yeah. I'll just have to... We might, we might paint. Actually, we were looking at a paint sprayer because we want to paint the entire house. Uh, I want to do it all white. And I was like, oh, man. I'm like, to roll it, it's going to take us forever, you know? We've never sprayed, like, <laughs> we've never sprayed, um, like, a house for, like, or anything for painting. And I was like, should we get a sprayer? And Nick's like, yeah, let's just do it. So we were looking at sprayers, and I'm just like, this is our life now. Like, looking at freaking paint sprayers. And I'm just like, I have no clue how we're going to do this. I have no clue, but we're going to figure it out. It's going to be awesome. I've actually thought about maybe sharing some of the progress that we do on the house. But I don't know if any of you want to see that. I don't even know what kind of format I would share it in. But if you would be interested in that, definitely let me know. Um, actually, maybe this. It's kind of like this. It's kind of like a light honey color, a like golden color. I'm not the biggest fan of it. And actually, it's a little bit less yellow, a little bit more beigey. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Darken that a bit. Kind of like that. So, yeah, lots of brown and like cream colors, which isn't horrible, but it's not like my favorite. Some HGTV. <laughs> I don't know how I would like do that, you know? You should always make a highlight over on your, or you could always make a highlight over on your Instagram to share. Well, that's the thing is like, would I, I mean, obviously I would have to share it on my like um, already established Instagram. Like my girl makes pixels just wouldn't make sense, you know? Actually, I need to put some more yellow back into it. It's not, the, it's not my favorite. Yeah, it's kind of like that more. Recolor that. So, yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> um, I'm working on a spreadsheet where I'm putting down every single Sims 2 pre-made outfit and where I got the default from. I love that. I've been kind of doing something like that, but not as detailed. It's a lot of work for sure. Asmara, hi lovely, HGTV vlogs. Yeah, like I don't know if I should do it like in a vlog format, if I should do it on Instagram and just do like like an Instagram TV kind of thing. I don't know. I mean, there was a part of me that was like, could I live stream stuff? <laughs> like set up a live stream kind of rig for the house and like Nick and I just work on stuff and chat with you all. I don't know if that would be a thing, if that would even be possible or if it would make sense, but... I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. See what we come up with. Oh, that's not it. I need to do the center one of this. I always forget where it's at. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that's the matching. Okay, so then recolor this. Make those all the same. And then I need another, yeah, the little edge right here. Make that that there we go um anyways i would love to paint the house especially with like this tree eventually blooming and being pink i think having it as like um like a creamy off-white color would be stunning it'd be beautiful so maybe someday someday it'd be really cool to have it painted i don't know nick and i have a lot of ideas for this house but like they might not ever happen <laughs> i literally have no clue if like if it'll happen you know and we might be a little too ambitious. It's kind of like this. The pop out right here is not like a full wall length. It's like a tiny smidge of it, but we're just making it work. We're just making it work with the Sims. It's kind of difficult. I don't really like Instagram TV either. That's why I feel torn. Um. I say, whatever you do, we support nosy as we are. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I do like vlog style or, ah, I don't know. There's this amazing YouTube channel called Doing It Ourselves. And the man who runs the channel makes vlogs every week of them renovating their French castle. <gasps> Ooh, I need to find that. Oh, I need to find that. I would love, I love watching stuff like that. 
especially now that we are buying a home. I've been watching so much. I've been really loving um, Exo McKenna. Her stuff is so cool. She's renovating a 110-year-old cottage right now, and I'm just, like, shook by it. Like, I could never. I could never. It's so cool, though. So I'm excited. I'm excited to really get, like, our hands on this house and do stuff. If you go with Instagram stories, don't use the Instagram music option. Oh, you don't have it in Boland. That is annoying. That is super annoying. Oh, you're totally fine, Asmara. You're totally fine, lovely. I hope you've been enjoying your lurk. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Yeah, I'd love to see a house flipper in real life content as a vlog or live stream. Oh, I, okay, so my issue is too. So I used to vlog back in the day. I used to have, um, what was my channel name? I think it was just Brittany Link, because that's my name. And I used to share like pregnancy updates and stuff on there. I know some of you have seen it before. <laughs> um, and... I don't know if the brick is here or if it's like cement. This might just be cement. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at the picture. Um, I used to share my pregnancy updates and stuff on there when I was pregnant with Emerson. And so I thought about like maybe if I did do like vlog stuff on there, I could bring that back. Okay, the house is looking more yellow than it's supposed to. Now that I'm like comparing it again to the picture. I put too much yellow. I'm gonna have to recolor it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Also, it's gonna glitch out because, you know, Sims 3. Maybe I'll put a plant there. <laughs> I don't know. But that's just gonna be how it is. If I do need to recolor that part. Uh, or all of this because it's just too. It is still a kind of like a cream color. Yeah, it's really like that. Okay, I just need to commit. Um, yes, oh my gosh, yes, drop the link in the Discord, please. I would love to see that. I would love to see uh, that channel. Um, hi, I Dino, welcome on in. How are ya? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit more like on point with the color. I was being kind of dramatic. I was like, it's so yellow. Cause in my mind, I see it so yellow. Cause I just don't really like the color of it. It's not this bad though. Like it's not as bad as I made it. Um, no, oh no. Do we not have a donate command anymore? Possibly, let me see. Oh no, it's turned off. It's turned off. Why is it turned off? Oh, cause it was for no kid hungry. Dang it. No, I don't have a donate option. <laughs> I don't have it. Actually, in my about uh, section down in my panels, I do. And there's like um, a, a link for it down there. I don't have it updated in my uh, stream elements, though. I forgot to update it after our fundraising. Yes, we have so many commands. Um, I don't know if this house will be up for download. I don't think it's going to be able to route very well. Like... There's just so much CFE in it and stuff. I just don't think it's going to work. Um, also, I didn't build... I didn't technically build this. Technically. Simon. <laughs> Simon, your account has been following for four years. Or that just... Oh, no. It's when your account was created. Four years ago. That's wild. That's wild. Um, I can technically enable it, but then it's going to be for uh, our No Kid Hungry stuff. The donate. I'd have to go in and get my donate link, um, which I don't have access to at the moment. Yes, yeah, Simon. Dang, four years. Wild. Who knew? Who knew? Um, but like I said, I do have it down in my about section on uh, here on Twitch. If you scroll down a bit. Nah, -uh. there's no donate link in the panels. Are you joking? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. I gotta I gotta check it out, fam. I gotta check it out. <laughs> I'm like, no way. How? I'm pretty sure I had the panel for it. Rules. What the fudge? Oh my gosh, it must have gotten deleted or changed when I added in something. Hi, Miss Grace, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Mm. Oh, wait, it's under support. It's under support. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? And it's there. It wasn't until I opened my uh, edit panels that I saw it. Where is it at? 
support. If you click on the support button, it links you right to it. <laughs> I was like, no way. I was like, how did it get deleted? Oh my goodness. I pulled up your pumpkin patch vlog. Stop. I look so bad in that. I was only one month postpartum. I was struggling. I was exhausted. Those vlogs are just um, a disaster. Yeah, you can click the, the link or the panel and link you right to it. <laughs> ah, this is so stressful. You started following me on 24th of February, 2018. Wow, that's wild. Uh, Miss Grace, welcome back. You had to put some clothes in the laundry? Heck yes, I need to do laundry so badly. So badly. I feel that. I feel that. Okay, so then this like goes um, not like that on the side of the house like this. I don't actually know. I don't remember what the side of the house looks like. I'm pretty sure it just looks like this. I think that there should be like the edging on this side too. As you can see, it's just very blah and very like beige and brown and I don't know. I'm just not a fan of the color. I'm just not a fan. Um, out back. Yeah, it's just all like beige out here too. I'm going to delete this tree. This tree we are removing before we even move in um, just to really open up the house because the backyard is just so bland without it. Okay, so literally the house is all like this and then there is on each edge has this, which will be like really fun to, to paint. Yeah, it's even on the back part like that. So right here and then like that. But yeah, uh, so now that we're getting a paint sprayer, I'm like, oh, maybe next summer or next spring or something, we can uh, paint the house. That'd be a lot of fun. Oh, dang it, that's not the edge. Um, <laughs> Andrew, I'm like, oh, Mac, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, if you want to help out and can't donate with the com donate command or other ways of support, you can sub, gift a sub, or gift bits. My goodness, you all are so sweet. Now I feel bad. Let me see real quick. I can update that. <laughs> no one wants to donate to me, right? It's fine. We don't need to. I need to update the uh, background for it too. Let me go in and fix that. Um... Um. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on into the Pixel Fam. Welcome, welcome. How are ya? How you doing? Um. All right, I'm adjusting this. I did it. I fixed it, fam. I fixed it, fam. <laughs> We're gonna stop having a, a meltdown, a little crisis about it. We had a little crisis. I fixed it. There we go. Uh, where's my zodiac sign? I am a Leo. That's my star sign. I think I actually have it listed down below at my, not my full chart, of course, but, um, all my other signs as well. Also, Brittany, welcome on in. How are you? <laughs> and no, my husband doesn't stream. He doesn't. Um, hi, Rylan. I did not build this house. Pixel Blobs um, built it for me because it's based off of my real life house. And uh, we're working on kind of like going in and she, she just built the shell of it. So we're going in and adding all the details into it. Um... There are two uptime commands. Wait, there's two? Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Jamie, for doing that shout out for Pixel Blobs. I appreciate it. Let me see. Ooh, the uptime command might be because there's one written in. Um, there's a default one. So, yeah, that's my issue. There we go. I, I adjusted it. Thank you, Simon. 
my goodness, fam. I'm telling you, being a, a parent and like trying to stream, I, I screw so much stuff up. Also, Madeline, thank you so much again for letting me, uh, reminding me to save my game. Um, <laughs> nipples confirmed. I love your name. Welcome on in. It's midnight for you. My goodness. My goodness. Uh, but welcome on in. I'm glad you can join us. There we go. Like this. I'm going to take this one. Yes, Pixel Blobs, I think, has streamed a little bit. I don't know if they've uh, streamed recently. Or at least I haven't been notified of anything. But I, I love their content. They also have a Tumblr. I don't know if we can get their uh, Tumblr linked in the chat. Their Tumblr is, like, lit. It's so good. It's so good. Um, and they post some really wonderful content. Their Sims are gorgeous. Truly just obsessed. Okay. That was actually kind of simple to do. So this is my beige boring house on the outside. But it's super cute. Or will be someday. <laughs> we got our chicken coop added in, fam. I'm so excited about that. Um, so then, like, literally right here is all, like, concrete. Um, I can't design it. Seriously? Um, it's, like, whoops. It's all concrete right here. I'm thinking of, well, not concrete. I'm kidding. It's all dirt. So actually, I can just, not dirt, rock. My goodness, what is in here? It's rock. It's rock. So, like, a gravel. Uh, so we can go in and fill that in. Right now, it's actually sunken in, and it needs to be leveled up uh, so that foundation doesn't get damaged by water, like from water damage. So I don't know what we'll do here. I'm thinking of putting in some dirt, raising it up, and then maybe doing, like, whoops, some, like, flowers or some kind of plants maybe, even, like, some vegetables or something in containers or, like, raised garden bed or something right here. It'd be really cool. But right now, it's just gravel. It needs to be fixed. You're a Sagittarius, and I will definitely look for a Leo or an Aquarius. That's the two signs I can really have fun with in a relationship. <laughs> Leos are fun. Leos are fun. Nick is a uh, Sagittarius. So we get along pretty well, especially for being fire signs. We just, we get each other, you know? Uh, Stefa, you know your whole astrological chart, but do I understand anything of it? Not at all. I've really just like been reading and learning and researching what I am to like really understand myself better. And, um, I feel like I've made progress with it. <laughs> I feel like I've made progress with it, but it's, it's kind of tough to learn at first. It really is. Oh, dang. I didn't realize I can, um, um, change the trim of this. I'm going to make it that brown color. Cause that's what it is in real life. That looks like a chocolate bar. <laughs> it looks like the chocolate bar, but the, the garage is like this. It's the same color as the siding, which I might change the texture of the siding at some point because I don't know if it's exactly a wood. I mean, it is a wood, but not like that. So that's that. So let me change the brick on this. Thank you, Jamie. So that's Pixel Blob's Tumblr. Go to, go follow. Seriously, I love their Tumblr. Um, they have quite a few followers on there already because they are awesome. They are awesome. So definitely go check them out. What's the one that I can recolor? Oh, maybe the uh, this one. This one I can recolor. I'm going to make it like a, I think it's like a stone or concrete or something. I think it's just concrete or like whatever. Steffa, you're an Aries sun, a uh, Capricorn moon, and Scorpio rising. Ooh. See, I don't even know. Like, I'm still learning. Like, I don't know that much um, about all of it, but... I don't know if anyone really, really like knows in depth on astrological stuff. Let Stefa know. Let Stefa know. Honestly, what I've done is just gone in and like really researched and read up on like the meanings of mine specifically. Jamie, why did I not know about these commands? <laughs> you learning all the commands? Oh my goodness. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't know. Commands I just always forget about. I just do. Okay, it's kind of like a gray, I think. Kind of like that. And then off here, there's like, let me see. Oh, dang, there used to be plants here. I'm looking at an old picture of the house. Um, there used to be plants all right here and right here, but they took those out. Actually, there might be plants still here. I can't remember. But this area for sure, they took it out. They put like a, tear, or a chair a chair, and table right here. And I'm just like, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, first off, like, I don't really want to sit on my front like yard and look at people pass by, you know. 
Um, I think there might be still be plants though right here. I should just do a drive by of the house at some point. <laughs> I should just go do a drive by of my uh, future home. I think it's kind of like this is um, how they had it. It's like just like ugly bushes. It's kind of like that. I think those are still there. Um, we'll remove those eventually at some point for sure too. Um, yes, we do. We do have uh, for cafe astrology. We do have a command for it. Hi, Chloe and Poofy Sims. Welcome on in. How are you? How you doing? Oh my gosh. Nah, -uh. the command list legit has how to edit and add commands. <laughs> None of us know what we're doing, fam. Me and my mom team, we are winging it. Okay, we we don't know what we're doing half the time. <laughs> We don't know what we're doing half the time. It's good. It's all good. Oh, another thing that is missing from the house I cannot add in is like a little roof um, right above here. No matter what I have done, I have removed everything um, and tried to work. Wait, what? No, -uh. no. -uh. Are you going to tell me it works now? I struggled with this the other day. I struggled with this the other day. What the fudge? I struggled so hard. Dang it. Anyways, never mind. So it's like a little thing right here. What is that? What is that little line thing? What are you? Oh, what is that? Can I like recolor it? No, I don't know what that is. Anyways, there's like a little kind of thing right there too. I was wrong. I just, <laughs> I was wrong. Um, the door is all white and it's actually broken. There's like a dent into the door. He has um, two really giant dogs. And so I think they've like damaged some stuff. Anyways, the door's gonna have to be replaced. It's not exactly like this. This is a really pretty door. Um, yeah, it's not exactly like that. And then all the windows are white as well. So we'll go in and recolor that. Um, maybe it's astrology no what happened to our command <laughs> my poor mods are just like what's going on how do we fix all this um Maybe it got deleted somehow. I'm telling you, stream elements. I like it a lot better than a lot of other bots I've used, but it, I swear, glitches out or something and stuff gets deleted. I always have the hardest time like navigating it. Um, let me go by most recently added. Yeah, because I see where it should be and it's not there. But I know we had it. Like we had one. We do have one for the Enneagram. So <laughs> if you want one for the Enneagram, <laughs> we be winging it so hard. We really all are. We are. Yeah, no command. That's so weird. Yeah, I'm telling you, stream elements just get so glitchy for me. I'm not, I'm, I promise, like I'm not this disorganized. I'm telling you, it's just stream elements. <laughs> they really make me struggle. They really make me struggle. Oh, this is cute. Okay, and then just recoloring everything. I think the door is white, like the sliding door. Um, these windows, I might replace some of these windows with ones that look a little bit more similar, or maybe like download a set that has something similar. Cause they're not exactly like this, but it'll do. It'll do for now. Thank you, Andrew. Um, yes, if you guys wanna find out your like whole astrological chart, feel free to go do so. Cafe Astrology is my favorite place for it. Um. Let's see. I know, Oscar, I miss our Sims being able to drive up too. Oh, El Rise, that's so cool. She used to be a fortune teller in Florida. Now she's a librarian in Vegas. Okay, your aunt sounds like she's lived a really fun life though. And I absolutely love that. <laughs> oh, I really love that. Okay, the fence is like um, a brown, but it's like not the same brown as like this. And it's been painted. Uh, which I wish it was stained instead of painted, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, but yeah, it's like a brown. It's like a completely kind of different brown. Actually, has like a little bit of a red tone to it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much like that. So this is the entirety of the fence. Is like this brown color. 
Oops, did that not recolor it? There we go. So like that, as you can see, just lots of beige and brown, which don't get me wrong, I love some beige. Just not like this, you know? Like we could totally make this so cute. Wait, yes, can we get some love in the chat for Jamie? Adding the commands. I know we had had one because I had put it in and we had used it in stream. So I don't know where it disappeared to. And I haven't edited the commands in a while, obviously, because we had no donate command there. <laughs> um, also, the uh, current owner installed a fence all along here because there used to not be one. Um, and it literally looks like this. Like the wood is splintering on it. Like he didn't sand it or anything. It's kind of odd. Um, so I was telling Nick that I kind of want to do some vining roses on it. Um, and do like some really cool, not that, but like rose bushes that vine up. Like that's a thing, you know? I think it'd be beautiful. Look, look at those hydrangeas. Let's see if I can find a rose bush. Kind of like this, or even like this, but they actually like vine upwards. I don't know where exactly. And they're like much more, they're not round like this. They're like fuller and like they go long and up and whatnot. Um, our Supreme Mod. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh, you're totally fine, Jamie. You're totally fine, lovely. Send my love to you and uh, enjoy your look. Anyways, that's my idea for the splintering fence. Because I was like, I really don't have to worry about like sanding it or anything. Whoops. I can't delete it. This rose bush is like, nah, I'm staying, fam. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Okay, I'm gonna save my game real quick. <laughs> uh, we're almost at the two hour mark. Let's hop into some current household stuff, fam. I'm ready. I am ready for it. Anyways, that's the little house I'm working on. It's like my actual house. I'm gonna keep working on it, probably off stream. It's not gonna be a total like just stream thing, you know? Um, so yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Anyways, I'm trying to think. Did we, did Vibrant, I don't know if Vibrant is still here in the chat. Um, as our lovely of the week, I didn't know if Vibrant decided if they wanted to be able to choose the current household we're going to play today. Um, if not, then we're going to get to vote on it and see what, um, which one we're going to play today. I have a few different options. Um, I have have my little notebook right here. And I've been trying to keep track of all their ages. I needed something like physical that I could write on um, instead of just typing and stuff. Um, so yeah, Nicole Calvin, it's gonna be one of our options. Let me hop into our family tree real quick and I'll show you. We might brought you here. Heck yes. Sorry. Sorry to pull you out of your lurk. Do you want some free stream loots cards, like um, a pack, or would you like to choose which current household we're going to be playing today out of, out of a few? I think our options are going to be, I'm going to tell you our options, Nicole Calvin, is an option. Colin Emery is an option. The Cooper siblings, uh, so they're living in St. Clair right now, uh, are an option. And then Jack Hammond is an option. If you don't want to choose one, then we can just let everyone vote on it. Um, but it's totally up to you, since you are our lovely of the week. Um, Michaela, welcome back. I know, I feel like the two hours just went by fast. It's only, it's an hour and 15 or 45 minutes, but in 15 minutes it will be it'll be two hours halfway through, which is wild. I don't want today to go by fast. You know, <laughs> I really want to enjoy today and all that good stuff, but it just is what it is. It is what it is. Um, and we have like errands to run and we are going to Trader Joe's though. You'll let them vote. Oh, I love that. Okay. You're so sweet. I'll send you a stream loots pack. Um, after a stream lovely or Possibly if we take a, a little break here in a moment, I can send them to you. Um, just message me over on Discord or Twitter and just to remind me to get them to you. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Yes, we do have Streamlance cards enabled. Let me get, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> Let me, you can use our family command. My cuckoo clock is going off. Um, the family command will link you right to my current household stories on Tumblr and also my family tree. So we're gonna hop into there. I'm gonna show you the families so you can get a good feel of them. Um, so there are options today involves, as you can see, this is my entire family tree. We have fourth generation down here. 
Uh, Generation 3 is really what we're playing right now. Uh, so we have Nicole Calvin, who we recently moved into her own mansion. And we have, um, yeah, you're all good, Andrew. I'll make the poll. No problem. Um, anyway, so yeah, Nicole Calvin here. She is living in Bridgeport, trying to become a famous actress and uh, kind of pursuing a few different um, lovers at the moment. It's kind of fun just playing her and her giant household. Um, she might be adopting a kid at some point. Uh, not soon-ish, maybe, but uh, at some point which is fun. Uh, another option is Colin Emery right here. He's one of the triplets for my Emery family. Uh, and these three triplets. And um, he is doing like into the future stuff. We haven't played him in a really long time. His sisters are in different save files and they're ahead of him in age. And so we need to catch him up um, and figure out what we want to do with his life. I think we might fall in love with someone in the future, which would be kind of a cool plot twist. I don't know. We shall see. Um, and then we have the Cooper siblings who are orphaned from their parents passing. Oh, I got hiccups. My gosh, Brittany. Um, Peyton here is in the criminal career. She's living that bad life. And we also have Ezra here who's a teenager. He's living kind of a rough life because of his sister. And they're kind of a mess at the moment. Um, hopefully we can find them some happiness. I'm trying to figure out some more like stuff to do for Peyton. I'm kind of tempted to change her to possibly like a klepto and making it so she can steal stuff. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, is there an option? And then our last option is Jack Hammond, who really needs to become an elder. And um, he's running his own business, building sim bots and inventions and stuff. I do want to install. There's a new mod that was released uh, literally the other day. I shared about it on our Discord, I think. Or no, on Tumblr, on my Tumblr. And it's the this like open for business like mod uh, for the Sims 3 that completely changes how to run your business. So I don't think, yeah, I haven't installed it into my game yet, um, but hopefully soon. So then Jack can really run his business so much better. Uh, he has his son Sawyer, who's a teenager. Edmund is a young adult now. These pictures need to be updated. Uh, Sawyer is trying to become famous and be in a band. Edmund, we haven't fully figured out his life yet, but he's trying to date and find a partner soon and uh, to really maybe help with that. That's our options. Let me get a poll together for us. And then I think we're gonna take a break during the poll. Um, so you can vote and then we'll stretch and whatnot. Um, let me get our options in. Which family? So I said, Nicole Calvin, living in Bridgeport, trying to become famous. <laughs> um, Colin Emery, who is doing Into the Future stuff, which is actually really fun. Uh, it's such an underrated pack. Uh, Cooper siblings live in that rough life in St. Clair and then Jack Hammond and his little family of, you know, figuring out their life. Um, let's do, I'm actually going to allow additional votes. You can use pixel points, um, if you would like, and we can do, um, I'm going to make it kind of higher. We're going to do 500 for it and let's do a five minute voting session. And I changed that. We're going to do a three minute voting session. Let's take a little bit of a break. Um, I got that poll going. Feel free to vote on that. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, fam. Okay, we are back. How is everyone? I actually grabbed a snack. I'm like, kind of hungry. So I got a granola bar from Trader Joe's because that's all where I shop. <laughs> Let's hop in. We're going to load up. I see that Colin one, right? Which is awesome because we haven't played him in forever. So. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so we're going to load up his household. Yeah, as you can see, we haven't played in so long. Where is his house? Oh, my goodness. Right here? Yeah. I think Colleen was still living there, which I think we're going to need to move her out because she doesn't live there anymore. So I'm going to open this. Um, thank you, Andrea, for linking those. Those are the portrait poses I use. This is like a really simple one. Um for them to like just smile a little bit. So they're all in the same pose uh, just cause I wanted to be able to see like, I don't know, I just feel like it shows off their facial expressions much better. Um, how was everyone's break? Did you get a snack? Did you stretch? What'd you do? Oh, you had to do the dishes, no fun. <laughs> no fun. We actually had this uh, conversation, was it last week about Usually people either prefer doing laundry or they prefer dishes. Um, and so I held a poll on Twitter and most people actually didn't even care. I was like interested by that. I was like, okay. There's like a lot of people that really just, they don't care. Um, 
But for me, I prefer laundry. I find laundry to be like really soothing. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird or not, but it's soothing to me. Mm, Asmara, call in is our Into the Future sim. I don't know if anyone told you that. So anyways, we get to do Into the Future today, which is really fun. We haven't played him in so long. So currently he has a girlfriend whose name I cannot remember. They've only been dating for a little bit. He has a girlfriend and I don't know if they're going to stay together. I don't know what we're going to be doing. He's living in his parents' house. His dad already passed away. His mom is living with his uh, triplet sister, Coletta, because Coletta has like 20 million children. So Stella moved in with her to help out, you know? So it's really just Colin here. But Colleen isn't supposed to be here. So we need to get her out of here. And none of the pets are here either. He's literally all alone, which is kind of sad. It's actually kind of sad. I, okay, I kind of get that though. I don't mind doing my dishes. I just don't like doing everyone else's. <laughs> it like grosses me out. I don't know why. But also like the kids, they make such messes of their foods that I'm just like, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. Okay, technically I have to delete them. <laughs> I technically have to delete them. Um since they're already in their own separate save file and whatnot. Ooh, what do you mean, Andrew? Wait, the reason I placed them on an empty lot in a separate save file is so the lighting is the same no matter where your sims are. Plus it makes it easier to just save the households to the bin and edit town and move them all into the same save file for the portrait taking. Ooh, yes. Is that what I do? Is that the same? <laughs> I'm like, is, is, I think that's what I do or something similar. Darlene, dressed. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. This is my first time being able to watch you live. Oh my goodness. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. How are you? How's your weekend going? It's always exciting. Like I always am like, oh yes. Like someone I really want to watch is streaming. I'm like, oh, I never get to join them live. So I'm glad that you're here. That makes me so happy to hear. Welcome on in. I hate <laughs> my pants. Oh, wearing high waisted jeans. Streaming and high waisted jeans are not meant for each other. I always am like, it's okay. And then it's like always so uncomfortable. <laughs> Every time. You like putting laundry into the washing machine and hanging them? Oh, see, folding is nice though. Folding is like therapeutic. I don't mind doing dishes unless I have to dry them with the towel. Oh, yeah, that's true. You don't like drying them with the towel. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we have a dishwasher that kind of does it for me, which is helpful. Okay, so Colin is literally here. He's like, where did everyone go? He's like, everyone just moved out. <laughs> they just disappeared. Anyways, so, oh, he's not exactly faithful. I think he's flirted, hasn't he, with someone else? Oh, maybe not. Okay, I don't know. Anyways, so, wait, is his mom still living in town? We gotta figure out where she is. I cannot find her for the life of me. Oh, Simon asked on tips. Gotcha, gotcha, for portrait taking. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's super helpful. That's pretty much how I do it as well. I, I like to think that if I lived alone that I wouldn't dislike doing dishes as much. I mean, it's probably true though. It's probably, probably true. Plus you would use less dishes. Okay, so Colin here has 32 days until he ages up. Let me check what his age is to make sure that it's the same as my notebook, which it should be because we we haven't played him in forever. Um, 31 days. Oh, wait, no. He's 80 days old. So, yes. I need to play him like 12 days. Yikes. Yeah, I need to play him like 12 days. <laughs> Ooh, that's so bad. Oh, I know. Eight days. I need to play him eight days. That's not... Okay, well, it's still kind of bad. So he's eight days behind his um, sisters, which they all should be the same age, of course, because they're triplets. Um, but he is a bot fan, no sense of humor, socially awkward, clumsy, genius, and a computer whiz. That's why we really pushed him into the, into the future direction. It just really made sense for him. Like, it just really made sense. 
Anyways, he is now living here in Salmon Woods um, all by himself since his sister moved out. And um, let's see, he wants to dream about home repairs, buy a hover car, improve advanced technology skill. Part of me is slightly tempted to send him to the future and him just live there forever. Um, Cause he seems to really thrive there. Um, right now his girlfriend, Tamson, that's right. He has a girlfriend named Tamson. He only knows that she's flirty and somehow she's already retired. No clue, no clue how. Um, oh, Charlene, Jess, I'm so glad you're good. You've been busy with online uni. Oh my goodness. Hopefully it's not been too stressful and, and I hope you can get some relaxation this weekend for sure. But I'm so glad you can join us. It's so nice having you here. Stefa, yes, it feels so nice to clean, right? That's all I did the past two days. I was like, clean, clean, clean. <laughs> it's true, it's true, you can't see my bottom half. Most of the time I actually wear sweats, but um, I need to do my laundry, so. <laughs> I get to do laundry today, fam. Anyways, I think we're gonna send him back into the future since he really doesn't have much to do here at the moment. I mean, maybe we should go take care of his mom's. Oh no, her plants died. Oh man, they, he's not doing very well. Anyways, we kind of have two directions we can go. We can move in Tampson, his girlfriend that he barely knows, and see what happens there. Or we can send him into the future again, and then maybe try and decide what to do with him. I just, I don't know. You're more of a laundry person than washing up. Laundry really is therapeutic and it just smells fresh and clean and just so nice. No, Amanda Red, you're all good. Oh my gosh. That was some loud lightning. Yes, exactly. I love putting something on to watch um, uh, for like doing laundry and stuff like that. I usually put on streams. Uh, lately, it's been Pleasant Sims streams. Um, I've just been trying to catch up on Strange Town Saturdays. We should casually put Lethal Weapon on. <laughs> just like casual, casual viewing. Yes, he's been to the future twice, actually. Can we get a rip for the plans? <laughs> can we get an F in the chat for the plans? Okay. Also, oh yeah, his lifetime wish is to reach level 10 in advanced technology skill and own a wind carver, a dream pod, a food synthesizer, a hollow disc, and a jetpack. He wants to own all those things. I think we're gonna send him into the future. It's been actually a few days for him since he was last there. And I think he's like ready to go back. So let's activate the time portal. Her plants are dead. Her kids did not take care of them. She was, you know, she said like before she left, Hey kids, can you just take care of my plants? I'd really appreciate it. And the kids are like, yeah, mom. <laughs> oh, Esmeralda, you're so sweet. I renovated this home. It's, um, it already was built in. Oh my gosh. They still have their Christmas lights on. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not it. Um, I just renovated it. It came built with uh, salmon woods. So I don't feel like I can really take credit since I renovated it. I didn't build it, but I do really like it. It's one of my favorites too. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Right now, I think we're in a utopian future. I'm pretty sure. Or is it dystopian? I don't remember. Um, We're trying to try out all the futures. So he's already gone to like the neutral future. And then there's a... Oh my gosh, how is there already one that says that? Here we go. Um, make a poll? Maybe. Well, we're just gonna go to the future. We're just gonna see what happens. Thank you so much, Darling Dressed. You're so sweet. Thank you, thank you. That means <laughs> you only give me my feels today. I swear. You think he should move to Oasis Landing? Maybe sell this house, move him into like a small lot and buy a house into the future. I kind of like that idea too. Is there like certain jobs that are only in the future? Like your Sims, like the jobs are different, right? Oh, see, this is my issue. I either need to watch like, I think I've seen Life Simmers into the future LP like way back in the day. 
I need to watch like an LP or something or like really read up on like the the wikis and stuff for into the future because there's so much that comes with the pack that I really don't know much on it. I'm trying like learning. I'm learning about this pack as we play it. I get that, Asmara. I have to separate my clothes too into different um, like ones, <laughs> like different colors and stuff like that so I can wash them, uh, which can be a pain because I'm like, I have to separate it out. That's how I have to do with the kids. The kids clothes pile up so fast. Um, and so I always have to separate it out. And that's like such a chore. I'm like, can I just like toss it all in? <laughs> Hope for the best. We haven't done the dystopia yet. But we didn't fully get to check out all of like the utopian stuff, I don't think. Oh, dang. How do we change it? Should I have changed it before we left? We have to use like the almanac or something like that, right? Yes, Into the Future is actually very underrated. I used to hate on it. I used to be like, you don't need it. If you want to get an expansion pack, don't get into the future. But it's really fun. <laughs> There's some really cool objects that come with it. The build mode and decorating mode, like the buy mode are so different than like your normal stuff. It's a really fun way to like shake up your game for sure. So yeah, I think we're going to utopian. Should I go back? Should I change it to dystopian? Oh, there's an astronomy career and the bot career. Ooh, maybe we'll get him into the astronomy career. Yes, life sim sims for LPs or everything. They were the very first one. Her Generations LP was the very first Sims 3 content I ever saw on YouTube. I was shook. Okay. Should I head back? Should I head back? Should we do the dystopian future? Since we haven't experienced it at all. And then maybe decide from there. Let me see real quick. Where is it? Isn't it like... Oh, yeah. He has a jetpack. Oh, yo, I forgot he has a jetpack. Oh, it's so cool. Watch, what are we gonna do? Um, jetpack. Fly around. Yeah, it's so cool. That's oh, right here. Almanac of time. Oh, we're gonna have to go back. Right? What's the difference? I know that like the styles and everything is different. What's like the true point of having the utopian and dystopian? I guess that's like what confuses me too. Um, I think it really depends on the player's preference, how good the pack is. True. Like, like I said, I used to hate on it. <laughs> I used to hate on it. Um, I think you can try and incorporate it. I personally been incorporating more of supernatural stuff and I'm like preparing for more stuff like that within my families and I'm getting a little bit distance from like super realistic gameplay and kind of incorporating the two because I want to try out all the packs. I want to try stuff from every single pack and that's what I'm using my current household to do. So into the future for me is all like brand new and it's like playing a different game. I personally really like it. Oh, dystopian is needed for the time statue. You're all good, Stefa. Thank you so much, lovely, for being here. Yeah, I know that. But, like, I guess I guess my biggest thing is, like, what's the difference in us visiting both places? Is it really just for the time statue? Which, I mean, Colin, I kind of see him as, like, <laughs> he's, like, a little bit of an ego. You know, like, he's, like, a little cocky because he's so smart. Um, that I kind of want him to be able to get the time statue. Let me go back to here. Okay, so these are the different legacy statues you can get. For him, I think we've talked about him getting um, the Pioneer of Plumbotics, possibly, where he makes Plumbots and stuff. Um, let's see. To achieve this statue, you have to make a future tech quality Plumbot while in present day, then install the Sentience trait chip to the Plumbot while in present day. Oh, I didn't even know that. It's also timekeeper. <clears throat> Become best friends with the time traveler, then change the future to dystopia and utopia, then repair the future timeline back to normal Oasis landing. Is that something we should do? Hi, Ginger Socks. Welcome on in. Yeah, I don't want him to get crushed by a meteor either. Hi, June. Welcome on in. Okay. 
I want to go back. Sorry, we're going to... How do I go back? Take me back. Show back home. Oh yeah, I always forget that you can woohoo in the portal. Like what even? Um, yeah, Andrea. I, I like the being realistic, but kind of not. I want to explore that the game has to offer with my Fullman fam, so I had to force myself to like play with the imaginary friend, just so it would be more acceptable in my head to incorporate more supernatural sci-fi sims. I get that. And that's why I've just been trying to incorporate more but realistic gameplay, I really do enjoy. But like, this has been really fun, just exploring new packs and new, new to me packs, you know? Um, travel, I'm just putting travel. Um, I don't know. Are you saying that the uh, woohooing in the time portal was added like with a mod or something, Simon? Cause maybe. I don't know. I have no clue. Also, I apologize. I'm still eating my snack. I hope that's been okay. I hate eating on stream, but like yesterday I got so hungry that then like it just didn't even make sense while talking. So I'm like, I have to have food. <laughs> I usually have to eat about every two hours in real life, like when I'm not streaming. So I'm sorry. We eating. <laughs> mm. Okay, we're traveling back. I want to check out the dystopian future. I haven't seen it at all. I've only seen normal and utopian. So we're going to, we're going to do this. Why not? Yes. Oh my gosh. I need to update my family tree. Um, they're, they're like, um, a mess. <laughs> I'm missing so many pictures for the fourth generation. Because taking pictures of, like, the toddlers and stuff can be kind of a pain. Um, but I need to do that soon. I need to do that soon. Aw, thank you so much, darling dress. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Oh, my gosh. So it must be a mod, then, that's allowing for my sims to woohoo in the time portal. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's all good. I knew you were talking to me. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> Honestly, though, with the name Brittany, I have had it misspelled 20 million times throughout my entire life. So I'm used to it. Oh, but you can woohoo in the futuristic train. I want to do that. <laughs> I want to try that out. The, futures, the futuristic train is actually really cool. Like, oh, there's so many cool elements. I'm sorry. I know we're traveling back. I just want to see the dystopian future. Do you have an alien in there? Maybe. Maybe. Actually, it'd be kind of cool if it made it, like, something kind of special for the baby. Like, if you get pregnant. Mm, you're right. There is jetpack woohoo. You're right. I think I remember that from, like, Life Simmers LP. Or some other LP I saw of Into the Future way back in the day. I was like, yo, <laughs> that's wild right there. <laughs> and it's like so out, out in the open. And also now I want to play <laughs> Into the Future. Do it. Do you have the expansion pack, El Do you have it? It's like I said, it's just kind of like, it's it surprised me. I really thought it was going to be really like annoying or boring. Ooh, that's true. You can woohoo in the time machine from uh, Ambitions. I'm gonna have to get more water soon. Sorry, I know we've been looking at loading screens. I apologize. Okay, real quick. I'm gonna have Colin. Hello? Hello? There we go. He appeared before the time machine or the time portal. Okay. Oh, his phone is broken. Okay, we're going to do this. I wish that there was like. Oh my goodness. Um, I wish that there was a way that, like, it was a little bit more difficult to trigger the different, um, futures. Like, I wish that I didn't have to just click a button. Like, I wish I had to actually do something to get that, you know? Wait, what? Oh. I do. What am I thinking? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I'm over here complaining. <laughs> okay. 
You want to change the future for the worse? Let's start by causing some destruction and mayhem. All oh, this makes me sad. This old magnet I have should do the trick by attracting meteors to town. Take this meteor magnet and point it towards the sky to attract some meteors. It's bound to garner some attention. Okay. My goodness, me not paying attention. Okay, where's the magnet? Oh my gosh. Blah. Um, no, I don't think. I thought it was a little magnet. <laughs> I thought it was little. I didn't know it was giant. Oh my gosh, that... I'm shook. I'm shook. Um, no, I don't think he's best friends with Emmett. No, there's the acquaintances. <gasps> oh, not here? Not here? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Get away from my house. Go here. <laughs> <laughs> Colin going to the future to discover all the woohoo places. Side note, he's a woohoo sim. Not the romance sim, a woohoo sim. Yes, that's true. We do have um we do have a alien baby in the family already. Our first kind of like supernatural. Can I not use it here? Do I screw it up? Aw, oh, dang it. Did I screw this up? Did I just like glitch it out? Okay, so we should make friends with him. Okay. I know, I'm just like, okay, let's do it. Aw, oh, dang it. Nuh uh, did I, did I really? It might only let me, wait, let me go back to my lot. It only lets me do it on my lot. It only lets me do it on my lot. Should I be worried? It wouldn't let me do it anywhere else. I have a feeling Colin's about to lose a whole lot more than he bargained for. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wait. Oh, we caught one. Plutonium? This is expensive. Yeah, I think it's because I needed to be on my lot. But I mean, well, let me see. Maybe we can go to like the park. We'll go here. It's so dark and gloomy for spring. It's like dark and gloomy. Oh, he got another one. Gold. Gold. Bye bye house. Okay, the rocks are like this big. They're like this big. Um, oh, June. Heck yes. You downloaded all of your Sims 3 again. I'm so glad I could help inspire you to want to play it. Oh, man. It's a fun one. It's a fun one. I say it's a fun one. It's the Sims 3, of course. It's fun. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I guess I had to be on a very specific lot. Okay, it's okay. Now we're in the community park. Oh, look at these. These are for uh, in the future. These little bug thingies over here. Oh, you know what I haven't had my Sims do in so long? Do the little Easter egg hunt for the festival. Oh, man, I totally forgot that was a thing. Oh, look at that. He wants to go on egg hunt. We're not going to do that, but we did it. That works better than I thought. What do you mean than you thought? <laughs> Not only did we change the Earth's gravitational pull to attract meteors, meteors, but a group called the League of Concerned Doomsayers sprung up. It looks like you're on the right track to changing the future. Oh, this makes me kind of sad. Go to their meeting to see how serious they are. Attend a Doomsayers meeting at City Hall. Oh, he proved his uh, advanced technology skill. He has the Ziggurat Sprite for the Hollow Disk, a programmed chocolate mini gnome recipe on the food synthesizer, and additional Dream Pod dreams. Do not pick up that egg, I swear. Please go to the meeting. Who's this? Oh, Kylie. I don't know who that is. Pigs Brit for your Tumblr. I already got some pictures of him with the uh, with the magnet. With the magnet. Okay, let's go see this meeting. Wait, what was the other one he got? Tungsten carbide. 
Honestly, this plutonium though, making some bank. He doesn't necessarily need it since he has still like a lot of his parents' money. But you know, you know. Okay, he's going to go to this meeting. Oh, their city hall is so pretty. I, oh, look at that. Hold on, can we, oh, look at that. Oh, I love it, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty out here. Oh, I love Salmon Woods. Okay, yeah, we'll uh, become friends with Emmett too. We shall do that. That sounds good to me. Who are you, Aaron? Okay. Okay, thanks for attending the League of Concerned Doomsayers meeting. I hope they had a free coffee and donuts at least. Great woolly lamb llamas. Really pretty? I call them llamas. Great woolly llamas. They really think the world is going to end. This is better than expected. I'm not sure there were enough people at the meeting to really start a movement. Go around town and spread the word that the sky is falling. Let's go, everyone. Or let's get everyone thinking the end is near. We have to convince six Sims. Okay, he's getting hungry. I am going to send him home real quick. Oh, I thought this was... Is this my music? Oh, no. <laughs> she have fleas? Oh, Helena. I thought the guitar playing in the music was that sam playing the guitar salmon woods is gorgeous it's a gorgeous world yes it's like chicken little do you remember the chicken little movie that disney did i watched it with the kids like not too long ago it is so bad like it's not even funny <laughs> and like the plot rushes through so fast i was like what <laughs> but i remember watching it as a kid thinking it was so funny oh no he believes this guy is falling Prophecies of the apocalypse have convinced Colin that the end is nigh. He's freaking out to the appropriate degree. Oh, dang. Oh, I feel kind of bad. We're going to like ruin the earth. Yeah, it was Disney. <gasps> Did you see him just like freaking levitate away? Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, I want to learn more. Wait, we can learn more about the almanac, almanac of time. I want to. I feel like I need to just know more. Oh, the waffles went bad. Is he gonna eat those? No, don't eat those, please, Emmett. Can you give a makeover to Emmett? Is that like, I assume it's possible, right? Yes, the trailer for it, please, on the Incredibles DVD. Yes, oh my gosh. I remember on road trips when I was little, we always watched the Incredibles. Like that was the one that we always, always watched. It was, oh my gosh. Yeah, I have the Incredibles memorized. <laughs> Um, oh, my hands weekend. Hi, Humbug. Welcome on in. How are you? How you doing? I liked it when I was little, too. I liked Chicken Little when I was little. But then when I've watched it as an adult, I'm like, it's kind of a weird movie. It's like not the like funniest or anything. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I remember uh, Chicken Little and uh, the Ugly Duckling and the Run to the Litter or whatever. Singing, don't go breaking my heart. <laughs> they had a few different karaoke like moments in there. They had the uh, Spice Girls song too. You were in kindergarten when Chick Chicken Little came out. Oh my gosh, the sky is falling. Dang, I was like literally. I don't know how old I was. I think it was like late elementary school. The time Alm almanac will let you check the status of Oasis Landing. You can also use it to trigger an event to alter the future. Okay. Um. Time traveler. Oh, you can talk to him and change the future. Tell me about a you. What? What the? What? What is happening? Oh my goodness. Why is he arguing? We're trying to become friends. Colin, he argues with so many people. He really does. He always argues with people. Can we apologize? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the little alien Loki scared you. I think some of the alien scenes were kind of intense. They were kind of intense. Oh my goodness. Jessamika92 grabbed another cup of tea for five more months. Five months. Do it, Woot. 
<laughs> woot woot Jessica Mikhail, lovely thank you so much for that sub for five heckin amazing months fam can we get some love spamming in the chat please 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 lovely how are ya how's your weekend going Colin that's not how you befriend others he argues with people all the time though like that's not even out of character for him like <laughs> Uh, he's just, yeah, <laughs> he's not the most sociable guy. Attract his face object. Dang it, now we're not gonna be friends. I don't know, I feel like their, their, uh, relationship's getting less. Less and less. Yes, all the love, all the love for Jessamica. Oh, wait, generations of kindness, love, and humor created a beautiful rainbow in the sky. Oasis Landing never looks so whimsical. Now us ruining that. Okay. I'm going to fast forward through these. Oh, humbug. I'm so sorry. It's so hot for you. Uh, it's been hot the past couple of days, but I think it's a little bit cooler today. For us, we were like in the 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I'm sending, I'm sending like cooler air for you. I hope that you can get some of that soon, hopefully, or at least a breeze, you know? Oh, a Capricorn. He's a Capricorn. I'm doing great though. Thank you so much for asking, Humbug. I really appreciate that. I'm having a good time. We are uh, just doing this. <laughs> Play the Sims 3. All the stuff that makes me happy, right? Um, but yeah, I'm glad you can join us. You just been chilling. You have a friend here from Alabama, so I've been catching up with him. Oh, I bet, I bet that's so nice to be able to catch up and chat and just uh, talking with friends is just so fun. I'm glad you're good. I'm glad you're here and getting to hang out with us for a bit. Even though the plot was so rushed and the, the, oh wait, since it was so rushed, the graphics wasn't that bad. The graphics actually aren't that bad. I agree. For 2005, they're really not bad. No problem, Andre. I'm enjoy your lurk, lovely. Okay. I'm just trying to get them to become at least friends. Um, oh my gosh. All they can do is like chat. I can't do funny interactions because Colin isn't funny. Sims who perform great feats will be remembered throughout time with a legacy statue. Okay. Wait, it's awkward. Oh, yeah, because he's socially awkward. Okay, we're going to have to head to bed here in a moment. But we do need to convince people that the sky is falling. Like, that's something we're going to have to do. So, we'll have to do that in the morning. Maybe head to the park or something. I'm sure there'll be a lot of Sims there. <laughs> darling dressed has decided to get extra cozy and comfy oh darling dressed thank you so much for getting extra cozy my goodness thank you so much for that sub please enjoy our super fun emotes and the cutest little star sub badge next to your name thank you so much i truly appreciate you thank you thank you fam can we get the love get that love a going in the chat get it going <laughs> definitely need the cooler air oh, i bet I'm glad other people are enjoying the heat, but I just don't get it. I, I don't want it cold. I don't want it too hot. I want, like, a nice, good, like, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect. I'm happy with that. You know, that's enough for me. <laughs> it's enough for me. Um, no, I don't, don't want to track more space objects. I don't trust it. Um, but, yeah, having it, like, really hot and stuff. I don't know. Over, like, in the UK and stuff, is it more humid there or is it more dry? For me, I personally always kind of pictured it like kind of a bit more humid. Not like overly humid, like Florida or stuff like that. Um, but like, is it more dry air or, or humid air? Um, I'm actually just going to change this to Colin's name. Day of three. I'm saving my game real quick. Oh, ginger socks. See, 60 degrees is good too. 60 degrees is real nice. You can sit outside. Not too hot, not too cold. You don't need a jacket, you know? Been staying up till like 1 a.m. the last couple of nights. Oh my goodness, I I can't. <laughs> I've been in, I stayed up last night a little bit till like 11:30. I was like, oh, I'm so tired. I woke up with a huge headache yesterday because of it. Yes. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's just because like when you have kids or like what happens, but I find that like when I stay up now, I feel like super sick. Maybe it's just me getting older. Maybe it's just called getting older. <laughs> It can get really humid in the UK, especially in the summer. Wow. Yeah, see, I didn't realize that. Like, I didn't know if it was more humid or dry uh, air there. 
Oh my goodness. Darling Jess, you're so heckin' sweet. I really appreciate it again. And just thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, so it depends on the day. It rained this morning. It's definitely humid today because of that. It's usually humid. Oh, so then you can have days that are maybe a little bit more of that dry air. Here where I live in Colorado, it is so dry, like super dry. Uh, like my hands have been getting still cracked because I wash them so often. Um, so like I have to put on lotion constantly. Um, hi, Erica. Welcome on in. How are you? How you doing? How you doing, lovely? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm having to be mod. It's okay. We good. We good. I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's about 31 Celsius. Oh, that's hot. That's like, that's hot. Uh, I like when it's cool enough to wear a jacket or to wear a cute jacket. <laughs> I don't have any cute jackets. I need some. I need some. I need some cute jackets. Um, for us here, the weather changes so much too that like you usually do need to carry a jacket with you because you never know. You never know what will happen, <laughs> what it'll change to. Yes. Oh, cold weather and frequent hand washing is a pain. It really is. Ooh, a SimFest at Mr. Bean's coffee shop. Maybe we should go there and tell everyone that the sky is falling at the coffee shop. Let's go to the show. And he can get breakfast there, too. <laughs> Multitasking, getting breakfast. And, oh, my gosh. It's so beautiful. I'm sorry. Ah! I just have to. I just. It's so beautiful. Look at those mountains. Oof. Oh, it gets my soul like, oh, <laughs> I love the mountains. Yeah, it's getting old. <laughs> ah, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, man. You're okay, Erica. Definitely tired. You stayed up to 5 a.m. Oof, I bet you are still recovering. That's rough. But I'm glad you can join us. <laughs> Hopefully it can help you to refresh and relax. Yes. Constant washing of hands and hand sanitizer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Literally same. Oh, this is sad. There's only one. It's just us here. Okay, let's come talk to Nikita Davison here. We're going to convince her that the sky is falling. We're not really here to watch the show. I feel like Colin has a little bit of like a evil side to him. Or like kind of like this like, I don't know, kind of like devil's advocate kind of side, you know? Um, people in Texas do not know how to do cute cold weather wear. It makes me feel overdressed. <laughs> You're like, I'm trying to be cute here. Can you please just back me up? <laughs> yes, it is like a... Oh my gosh, Colin. You gotta stop fighting with everyone. Did he convince her? She's apologizing. He's the one that was yelling. What is happening? Did he convince her? Where's the, is under my opportunities? Oh, one of six Sims. Okay, I think we did. I don't know. Can we talk to the <laughs> bartender over here? Convince Ronnie that this guy is falling. <laughs> Welcome to my chicken little simulator. <laughs> I live in Canada in my province. It literally is 30 degrees Celsius one day and then snowing the next. Uh, yes, that's literally me. <laughs> we get May or we get snow in May while most people are getting spring and stuff. We still get snow. Uh, we have had it snow in June before. Okay. While I've lived here, that has happened. It's not the funnest. <laughs> it's like, what the crap? I know this Sims 3 is so ugly though. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't want it to crash on me. I was like, no. Okay, let's buy a, a snack, some breakfast. Ooh, a cheese danish. Oh, I love cheese danishes. 20 bits, welcome on in. How are ya? Uh, in Germany, it's like uh, April 15th, sunny, warm, perfect summer weather. April 16th, snow, ice, rain, cold. Okay, literally same. Oh my gosh, we've had it like rain so much recently. We never get like that much rain in May and June. And then, like I said, we get snow all the time. <laughs> it feels like winter lasts forever because we'll get snow starting in September, October, and then we'll get random, you know, snow storms and stuff all the way up until May. So we only have a few like that are 
not snowy or cold or annoying. Calling you menace. Yes, exactly. He's kind of like a menace. Oh no, is he having to go to the bathroom? Oh, Ronnie, I'm sorry. We we're just trying to, can we not get food here? Okay. The service here is horrible. Let's go over to the festival. Look at, look at, for Colin, it's snowing and it's spring. This is so relatable, fam. We're gonna go buy food at the festival. Is anyone here playing Sims 3 on a GTX 1060? I'm thinking I'm getting it for my i5, but I'm not sure if it's strong enough. I'm only playing Sims 3 and 4 on my PC. Um, wait, I'm trying to think what I have. What do I have? <laughs> what do I have? Um, no, I have the 1660. I don't know. I feel like we've had someone say that they have the 1060. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong though. It might be good enough. Honestly, I played mine on a less graphics card than that back in, whoops, I don't wanna cancel that now. Dang it. Um, Back when I started my YouTube channel with The Sims 3, I had a 750 or something like that, 730 or something like that. 20 bits, I'm so glad you're good. I'm so glad you're good. My weekend's going well. We are just hanging out today, which is always so much fun. Uh, and then I get to go and Let's see, it's like brunch time. Do they have any brunch food? Yes, onion rings. <laughs> Let's get some pie. <laughs> Why not? Um, let's go grocery shopping after stream, run errands, cook dinner, get kids down for bed, prepare for the week. <laughs> and that's the rest of my day. But it's been a good weekend so far. I wish it was over. I wish it was longer. Oh, yes, you're right, Oscar. There is a website to check for, like, if certain games will run on your PC. But I don't remember what the the name of it is called. Okay. Can we talk to this guy here and convince Nathaniel that the sky is falling? We need to convince, I think, five or no, four more Sims. So... Oh, this is so mean. Why is he yelling? Oh, because he's a genius. Oh, they're learning about their shared trait. <laughs> he's like, I don't believe you. Oh, wait, but we did. Okay, there's three of four or three of six Sims. Okay, is there anyone else here? It is like, this town is so empty. We really need to get more Sims, like, makeovered and, and whatnot. Okay, let's go convince these ones. Hi, Andrew, and welcome back from your lurk, lovely. Oh, Sean Clark, there we go. Ooh, almost there, oh my goodness. Let's see, yeah, I think Sean will be our last one. And then we did it, but we still need to become friends with Emmett, apparently, that's like important, so we're gonna need to do that. Okay, perfect. You've done it. The town, the, the entire town, six Sims is the entire town. The town is convinced the world really will end. It's looking a little too clean around here. You should convince everyone to litter everywhere. Oh, this hurts my soul. If no one cares, I'm sure the future will change for the worst. Successfully joke about trash talking the environment. Let's see how much garbage will pile up. I don't like this. This is like... <laughs> Jetpack slow dance. Okay, that's kind of cute though. I want to lock that in. No, I don't like this. Oh, no. He keeps advancing his technology skill. Trash talk the environment. Oh, no, there's trash. We can clean it up, technically. Oh, I don't like this. No, you didn't really miss too much. He just went and convinced people about trashing the environment. No, Colin. I don't like this. This hurts my soul. No, I don't like this at all. Eleanor is childish. That's what we learned. Okay, cool. <laughs> I guess that helps. Although that is the mom of Kane Addison, who is engaged to Coletta, his sister. So they kind of like related in a way. Mara, trash that environment. Can we convince the cat, Felix? I'm just kidding. <laughs> convince the cat to... Uh, Litter. 
Oh, I don't like this. Okay. And then who's this over here? Jeremy. I don't know how many we have to convince. Six of them? Wow. Wow. We don't even know this many people. Okay. This is totally against everything I stand for. Like 100%. I didn't know it was going to be this painful. Okay. We'll go over here. Look at the trash everywhere. Oh, is this a teenager? Yeah. Here, Jeremy Weissman. Trash it. I love that he just like... <laughs> oh, no. This is fun. Wait, what are they doing? Are they playing tag? What is happening here? Did we ever talk to Eloy? I don't know if we did. Oh, they are playing tag. Oh, my gosh. They are. Oh, my gosh. It's uh, Colleen, his sister's uh, ex-boyfriend. Cedric. Cedric is working at the little kissing booth. Stop. That's so cute. Wait, Tamsin is here. This is his girlfriend. Does she age up? Why is her hair? Oh, no. I think it's just supposed to be her hair. It's supposed to be like that. They're like, did she age up? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Eloy is evil. No wonder he enjoyed that. Um, we need like another, we need another sim. I think, oh wait, who's this right here? Tanya. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Hi, scary cows. Welcome on in. How are ya? We're littering. I hate it. Ooh. They have uh, some chemistry. She actually kind of looks like uh, Tamsin, <laughs> his girlfriend. Okay, we did it. We littered. Ooh. You were so convincing that for a moment, I thought you really did despise the environment. Okay, so now we have to go talk to Emmett. Chat about cause and effect. Ah, bad boy Colin. Oh. Streamer I watched yesterday was like, yes, destroy the future. Have babies with time travelers. <laughs> Brits all like... <laughs> Wait, uh, Ginger Socks, who was the streamer that was uh, playing uh, Into the Future? The D. The D. I know, not the teens. Supposed to save the world after after the adults F it up. <laughs> True. <laughs> Poor Gen Z's having to clean up everyone's mess. Okay, no, please come back here. Okay, are we waiting for Emmett? Are we allowed to go? Oh, dang it. We didn't become friends with Emmett, though. Wait, we can summon the time traveler, right? Yeah. No. Did he just glitch out? What just happened? Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we need to become friends with him. Um, cause Simon told me it's a thing. Friendly introduction. We literally already met you. What? What? Oh, Mellow Sim, welcome. I'm so sorry you didn't know. I know I try to uh, encourage you all to uh, be over on the Discord or Twitter. That way you know you can enable notifications on there, which are a little bit more reliable than Twitch notifications. <laughs> I'm so sorry, though. How are you? Stop it, Colin. Stop insulting him. Oh, my gosh. These mood swings. We're trying to become friends. Or don't we have to be, like, best friends? Colin, stop it. Oh, see, look, Emma's telling you now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so frustrating. Hey, Simon, welcome back. Oh, a cotton sock. Yes, was streaming it and she had a baby with Emmett and it broke her game. Actually, I think I've heard that before. That, like, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, I recently started following them. Oh, um, I recently just saw them on YouTube. And I was like, oh, awesome. And then I finally did the stream on Twitch. I was like, heck yes. Uh, we got instant soup. Heck yes. I know, I'm ready for lunch. <laughs> it's noon for me, so I'm, I'm ready for the lunch. Wait. I think Nick fixed my clock. I was trying to figure out how many cuckoos it was doing. It's been one hour behind, but now it looks like it went off at the right time. How did that happen? I didn't even change it. I'm guessing Nick had to have changed it. I don't even know. Colin re really does have issues. <laughs> he is not a perfect sim whatsoever. I think his traits really make him kind of conflicted. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, tell me about a dystopian future. Yeah, tell me about what that is like. And then... Uh, tell a story, I guess. Yes, Colin won't be having any kids with it. With Emmett. Colin is quite the charmer. <laughs> so charming, so warm and welcoming, so kind. <laughs> Seriously, the best. Oh, he's really cold. Yeah, he's been outside all day. My goodness. Okay, I'm just trying to... They're not even friends yet. Cuckoo. Be careful when traveling to Oasis Landing. Something in the Earth's gravitational pull. Something. Who knows? It was us. Has caused meteors to fall from the sky. Ah, oh my gosh. I'm scared to go to the dystopian future. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Really? Do we still, like, we're still in acquaintances? Okay. I guess we're going to go to the bathroom. Put his foot in his mouth. Always. Always. There was definitely a closer bathroom. Definitely was a closer bathroom than this. Okay, we know wash your hands. Ew, wash your hands. Colin. Colin. <laughs> Come on. I don't know what plants at the sprinklers as water. Oh, I guess the trees. I was like, there's no plants in there. There's a few, I guess. Oh my goodness. They have like no interactions that they can do. It's so annoying. Okay, go talk to Emmett. Do they have to become friends or best friends, Simon? I think it's best friends, right? Because it's based off the... Um, for the... Let's see, the timekeeper. Become best friends with the time traveler, then change the future to dystopia and utopia, then repair the future timeline back to normal Oasis Landing. Then we'll get a statue. Colin, ew, wash your hands. Yeah, it's best friends. No clue how we're going to do that. This is like the most difficult part. It's becoming best friends. Oh gosh, they just have to keep chatting. They're not even like friends yet. He thinks Colin's being awkward. Dang it. Okay, whatever. Colin, go to bed. Go to bed. We might not like stress about that. Maybe we'll have to go a different route for a statue. Oh, what do you think? What should we do? So after dystopia, we have to do utopia once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fine with me. Ooh, if you take the time traveler job, that'd be interesting. Jessica, this is one of your top five packs, Into the Future is. Oh, that's cool. See, I'm like really, I'm just learning about Into the Future and stuff. Um. Literally, it was only a few months ago that we started doing this with Colin and having him travel and stuff. So it's been a lot of fun to like learn more about it and whatnot. Ooh, go to the elixir shop and look for a friends elixir. Ooh, ooh, that's a good idea. Where is the elixir shop? It's usually kind of like on the outskirts of town. Yeah, right here. Toadstools and fairy dust. Oh, so cute. I'm excited. We're going to be doing some supernatural stuff with Generation 4, who are currently toddlers and children right now. Um, but it's going to be so much fun. I'm excited. I really have never played any of the uh, different occults and stuff from the supernatural pack. So it's going to be so much fun to do that. Ooh, maybe lifetime points as well. Ooh, other, well, he's not inappropriate. I don't know if this one will work inappropriate, but in a good way. Maybe. Uh, never dull. Sims love listening to you talk and will never get bored when you repeat social interactions. That might be a good one. Or. Hi, Jamie. Welcome back from your lurk. Welcome, welcome back. Oh, Michaela. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope you can get under control, lovely. Oh, no, you dealt, you dealt with it. Okay, you got it under control. Good. Welcome back. You're all about space stuff. Yeah, Into the Future is really uh, just not as appreciated. I, I feel like a lot of people have like this kind of like, ew, thing against it, you know? But I actually have had a lot of fun with it so far. Um. Okay. I think that one's going to be our best bet. 
Um, supernatural stuff. So we have a few generation four Sims that are, one will most likely become a fairy. Her name's Freya. And it just kind of makes sense for her storyline and stuff. Um, she has a sister who most likely will become a vampire because her name is Esme, which was un, like, it wasn't on purpose, but that's her name. Um, and, but it's like Twilight, which, you know, vampires and Twilight. And then we have, um, they just had an alien baby because he, the dad in the family got randomly abducted and we were like, what the crap? <laughs> so now we're like, they're going to all move together to like Midnight Hollow or, um, Moonlight Falls. Midnight Holler, Moonlight Falls, that's the places, right? So one of those. A fluctuation in the space-time continuum may have affected your descendants. <gasps> Go into the future to see what changes may have occurred. No. Okay. So I'm going to wake up Colin. He's going to wake up out of his slumber. He's hungry. I might send him to the diner. But he's going to go to the elixir shop real quick. Yes, everyone was good. <laughs> everyone was on their best behavior, Jamie. Your top five regeneration, seasons, pets, um, and island paradise. Oh, you got BLT wraps. That sounds so good. I only have two wings left over from last night. Or, yeah. And I got three. Or not three. <laughs> I got 10. <laughs> I'm crying. Hold up, fam. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm over here bragging. <laughs> I got two wings. And last night, I had, <laughs> out of the <laughs> three, I only had one wing last night. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Okay. Who's this? Grace. Oh, Grace is kind of cute. With a makeover, she'd be super cute. Um, but that sounds awesome, Jamie. <laughs> I don't know what I'm eating for lunch. Um, Midnight Hollow is one of the coolest store worlds. I've never played in it. I do have it, but I've never played in it. Yeah, Moonlight Falls is the one that came with Supernatural. Okay, okay. I always get them confused. I'm like, which one is which? Okay. We are looking for an elixir. Procreation. What? There's an elixir that increases your chance of conception um and twins and triplets are also very likely i didn't even know that was a thing there's a fountain of youth elixir bottled vampires bite vial of bottled genie it'll turn sims into a genie i'm shook i've never really been to the elixir uh shop and then bottled witch's brew it turns any sim into a witch i'm shook it doesn't have what we need here um, so maybe we should just go without becoming friends, which kind of sucks because then he won't get the statue. But, oh, I don't know what to do for him. This is a cool lot. Oh, look at that. They have like the little brewing station downstairs. He's going to get ice cream. No, you're not. Okay. I'm going to send him out to the, the little 24 hour diner. He's going to go eat there alone <laughs> and i think we're just gonna go ahead and just travel into the future you have chipotle leftover from last night heck yes oh yeah i only i only have two wings out of my 10 not three i didn't have three wings in total and only one and <laughs> my gosh my gosh a bucket of chicken wings yes oh i love wings i got lemon pepper last night it was so good Katarina Stewart in Midnight Hollow is creepy. Her story was that she got plastic surgery to make herself look like a doll. I'm excited. Yeah, I don't know which world we'll play in. Um, if it'll be Midnight Hollow or Moonlight Falls. Genies are kind of OP. They can spawn any kind of food. Dang. That is so cool. Or we can wait and best befriend him first. Mm, I just want to go to the future. I'm impatient. My plans for this sim. So for Colin, ah, I don't know. I think I think he's going to eventually end up living in the future. Like he just doesn't fit in, like to the now. Like he just has never felt like he fits in here. You know? Yeah, I know. Their stock does change daily. Ooh, when you buy things, new things automatically become available. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Okay, maybe we should go back and buy some stuff and see if it'll pop up for us. Okay, we're heading on back. We're heading on back. It kind of sucks though, because that, that means I won't have any more Sims living in Salmon Woods if he lives like permanently in the future. And I love Salmon Woods. <laughs> it's such a gorgeous world. I've been playing here forever. Oh my gosh. The amount of kids you could have with the fertility lifetime reward and the elixir. Yikes. Yikes. And the procreation wish from Jeannie. Oh, it's like triplets guaranteed. <laughs> triplets guaranteed. Yeah, Salmon Woods, Jessica. Salmon Woods. It's a, oh, one of my favorites. It's just so good. Where did she go? Okay, we're going to buy some things and see if it'll um, pop up for what we need. Oh, she's down here. Oh, no. I don't, wait, I don't think there was a love elixir. Make Emmett fall in love. That'd be a plot twist. Oh my gosh, look at these. They're freezer bunnies and aliens. The alien one's kind of sad because we have like an alien baby and it's like, dang, that's like if they took him and put him in here. The freezer bunnies, I just kind of want to squish. <laughs> I want to squish them. I wish you could have babies with Simbas because he seems like he would like robots. Ooh, maybe. He might eventually. I want him to get into some Simbot making since I've been learning more about that and stuff. Um, I'm just going to buy a few of these random things. I don't know if I have to buy... Let's see. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm tempted to get this procreation one just because I want to have it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Um, Watch. Watch us do what? <laughs> He's like, please don't. Bore to death. Oh, no. No, don't crash, game. Don't crash. No, come on, please. I haven't saved in a while. I'm so nervous. Oh, that's true. We can resell them. Oh, dang it. This is what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to cry. I know, Andrew, and we've kind of talked about Colin and Jack living together at some point or something. Oh, my gosh. What the fudge? No. <laughs> what do I do? Should I just... No, I'm so sad. We will sacrifice Emma if you make it go smoothly. <laughs> I don't think we should do that. It's because he was going to bore her to death. Yeah, it's about... Nah. Can we get an F in the chat? <laughs> Huh. Remember? 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 Mercury's in retrograde? I'm telling you! I should have saved. Uh, my heart. <laughs> no! Nice work, Colin! I hadn't saved, like, in a little while, too. And I normally save! It was all the littering. Right, Oscar? That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> I'm pushing through it. Uh, I'm telling you. Mercury in retrograde. Yes, Nick guy. It did crash. Welcome on in, by the way. Glad you can join us. I don't even want to... I don't even want to load up his save now. No, Mr. Alligator, my game crashed. We still have another hour of stream. How are ya? How you doing, lovely? Yes, humbug. I was just saying earlier that I can literally see 
Okay, so I render, I've render. i been rendering videos for my VOD channel over on YouTube. Feel free to go sub if you would like. Uh, you can use our VODs command to get to it. Um, but I've been rendering videos, trying to catch up on backlog so that we can just like get into rhythm with uploading these streams, you know, as soon as like the day after they happen, whatever. I had before Mercury went into retrograde, it only took about two to three hours to render a video, which is still kind of long, but they're big videos. Um, so I was like, okay, Mercury in retrograde starts, right? No joke ever since that point. Cause I can see the timestamps of when I rendered those videos. Then it literally has been taking me 14 hours to render one video, 14, 14, <laughs> 14 hours to render one video. I'm blaming it on Mercury and retrograde because nothing on my computer has changed. So I'm blaming it on that. I haven't had my game crash in a really long time. Mercury and retrograde. I'm telling you. Um, let's see. What's the crash analyzer called for the Sims three? Do you remember the name of what it's called? Um, oh, Mr. Alligator, my heart goes out to you. Jamie, my game. <laughs> my game. <laughs> that was so delayed. What happened? I don't know why I got so delayed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay, fam. I think we should go with a different. I don't want to play Connor. <laughs> Not Connor, Colin. Oh my goodness. Um, also, Mr. Alligator, I was just sending my love to you. I really, I really am. And I've actually thought about you and, and sent prayers your way. So I'm glad that you've had a lot of support. And I'm so happy that you have such a good support system. Yes, The Sims 3 doesn't need a high-end PC. It's true. <laughs> You'd like for my Connors family to come back? Oh, my goodness. Ginger Socks, save your game. I can't even save it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Second place in that poll was Nicole. Um, you guys want to play Nicole? Where is Nicole? Did we already pass her? Who should we go play, fam? <laughs> oh man. Uh, where is Nicole? Is this her house? No, that's Jack's house. Nicole, that's right. It's right here. We could do a new poll. Two. We could do so. Jack Hammond is an option. Nicole is an option. I keep getting hiccups today. The Cooper siblings were an option. All these other families I want to play too, and we can't. I gotta catch up on these families. So that's our options. I mean, Nate Hammond can be an option too. So Jack Hammond, Nicole Calvin, Nate Hammond. Cooper siblings. Did I say all of them? Um, you're looking at ways to protect yourself from Mercury retrograde. Apparently, amethyst is good. Oh goodness. See, maybe, <laughs> maybe I need to do that. I'm having so many tech issues. Nicole, Nicole. Okay, maybe we won't do a poll. Let's just go to Nicole. Oh wait. Oh, we got a poll. <laughs> go vote, fam. Just go vote. Although it probably will be a call. Jamie, well, no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making that poll. Just in case, just in case someone wants it different. You never know. Sorry, I'm cleaning crumbs off my chair. No, it's okay. Everyone go vote. Vote on who you want to play. You could change. It could be something different. Oh my goodness. Although Nicole is winning by 14 votes right now. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know, Jamie. It should be fine. Okay. I'm just going to call it now if that's okay, fam. We'll uh, we'll go and see Nicole since it's quite a bit ahead. Don't use your points, y'all. <laughs> Jamie, don't use your points, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We're just going to go with Nicole. It's 20 votes ahead. It's 20 votes ahead. <laughs> we'll stick with it, I guess. 21 votes ahead. 
I'm spiritual and all that, but I don't know if I believe in Mercury retrograde, but it is crazy that we're all feeling funky. So maybe I will believe. At first I was kind of doubtful about it. And then the more that I've gone into like astrology and stuff like that, and I've just seen such like big comparisons in my life. I'm someone that like, once you show me something, it's like right there in front of my eyes. Like I'll believe it, you know? Um, if it's just people tell me stuff, I'm like, I have to like witness it myself to believe in something, you know? And so <laughs> I'm like, yo, this is kind of weird how it's really all just like making sense to me, you know? So, <laughs> but yeah, I, I felt off. Um, and like I said, like mine talked about like just, you know, technology and stuff not, you know, working for me. Here we are. <laughs> here we are. Here we are. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Nicole won, but she had 22 votes. So good for her. <laughs> good for her. I have finals this week. And after your game crashing, I'm concerned for my grades. No, you got this mitochondria. You got this. You're in control of it. You're going to ace them. I'm trying to remember. Ooh, maybe you know what we could do today. We could give a uh, Matthew Hamming a makeover. How would you all feel on that? Darling dress. Enjoy your lurk. Lovely. Jessica, your sim got abducted in part two of your Let's Play and just found out he isn't pregnant and was hoping he was. Would I be a bad person if I forced him into another abduction and added a mod for 100% pregnancy? Oh, no. Do what you want. If you want to, I say go for it. What is happening? What is happening? We load this up and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Hi, Fergnator. Welcome on in. How are you? Sorry, I'm fixing my pants. They're like cutting into my leg. Mitochondria, you've been stuffy this past week. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can get feeling better. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on into the Pixel fam. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so she's pretty tired, right? Oh, yeah, she keeps... She got abducted, like, what, two or three times? <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, our dog, Monroe. Oh, she's such a cutie. And she wants to ask a sim to join in hot tub. Um. Okay, let me hide... Also, just a reminder, fam, we do have uh, our cards enabled for today's stream for our stream loots cards. Is she Frozen 2? Frozen 2, that's a movie. My gosh. Frozen as well. Why do you hate me? I'm going to cry. <laughs> Time is elapsing and she's just frozen. I don't understand uh, what I've you've all witnessed you've all witnessed my game being completely fine what the fudge oh my gosh go to sleep oh wait she can't even go to sleep now. she can't even go to sleep now because I reset her okay go down here and eat <laughs> I'm done Thank you. Thank you, Jessica, for telling me to reset her. Let's go put out this fire. Um, I think our butler, we can we ask them to cook or are they just going to already cook? So yeah, our butler is like a cute little thing. She's so cute. What's her name again? Camilla. That's right. Camilla is stunning. Like I'm obsessed with her. Okay. And um, she might be a possible future love interest for uh, Nicole, which I think would be so much fun. Yes, Matthew is kind of hot for a pre-made. Uh, but he needs some help. Like, he needs some help. We've actually given him a makeover before in a different save file of Nicole's. But that save file got uh, corrupted. So I had to do a Bridgeport fix. And so now he's not cute, you know? Uh, let me cry for you, Brittany. <laughs> You're too cute to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I cry a lot, fam. I used to be someone that, like, never really cried, like, at all. And then I had kids. No, that's not true. I got pregnant. And then ever since then, my, like, my, my emotions are just so easily, <laughs> easily uh, hurt. <laughs> my game is totally haunting me today. She's pissing me off. <laughs> Hi, Gabka. Welcome, welcome. Yes, we've been playing Nicole a bit recently. She just got this gorgeous home in Bridgeport. It's stunning wait is this the food wait eat tzatziki our butler made us freaking tzatziki sauce and she's gonna eat that for breakfast 
Maybe it's like a new fad diet or something. A freaking tzatziki sauce. Don't get me wrong. I love tzatziki, but like not in a bowl and like eating it like freaking yogurt. Why? She's still in her swimsuit. <laughs> our butler cannot cook. Okay. She's trying to fix the sink right now. It's broken. Anyways, this is our home. It is stunning. We're going to do like a slow makeover on it. I've actually already started on my Pinterest. Um, which if you want to follow me on Pinterest, you can, if I can spell it right. Um, I started making a board for Nicole for some inspiration for the future of this little, this little, uh, place. Anyways, so this is like the downstairs area. I don't know whose car this is. Like I don't, it's not ours. Is it the butler's maybe? I don't know. Anyways, it's very sparsely decorated. She didn't bring too much from her apartment. But like, look at this balcony. Like, this will be gorgeous to renovate. Her bedroom is giant. Uh, her bathroom is giant. This is the butler's room. So she has her own kitchen and stuff. And then this will be our future kids' room that Nicole will be adopting. Okay, does she have work today? She does. Oh, wait, Matthew's here? Oh, Matthew's here. Oh, he's sleeping out here on the... <laughs> No, I think the moving van is uh, Matthew's here. I don't know why he's driving that. <laughs> Mitochondrial Nipple played the makeover time card, Mr. Hamming. Mr. Hamming, we're doing it. Mitochondria, thank you so much for playing that card. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some hype, fam? <laughs> Andrea, I'm praying for us. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That's true. It does have cucumbers. That's true. Daniel makes fun of me because we will be watching a show and it's a sad scene. He will look over. My eyes are filled with tears. I can't control it. And after having kids, it's been worse. Oh my gosh. I literally, I fam, I could watch like the saddest movie and not cry. I was like freaking stone. We're okay. <laughs> and then I got pregnant and I started crying at puppy commercials and it's just gone progressively worse. Every time I watch the beginning of Tarzan or the beginning of Finding Nemo, I cry. Okay, I watch uh, Bluey sometimes and that show makes me want to cry even though I shouldn't like cry during that because it makes no sense to cry. <sighs> Having kids changes you. <laughs> and they change you. Not Matthew sleeping on the patio. I mean, <laughs> I think it's summertime though. So. See, he has good features. I hate that he has like pink eyes. So I'm going to change that. I'll probably just do like a brown for him. I'm gonna do like a darker kind of brown like that. I just think it looks better. Um, let's go in. Let me actually change up his. Well, I was gonna change his eyebrows, but I actually kind of like them. So I take that back. We're gonna change up his face. And honestly, he has really good features already. I like to just go in and kind of make them. I don't know, just a little bit more subtle. I think is the biggest thing. Yeah, it must be something with maternal instinct or something. But literally, like, I cry while watching, like, the most random stuff. And it doesn't even have to be sad. It can be, like, really heartwarming stuff. And I'll, like, start crying. <laughs> Which is, like, not how I ever used to be uh, growing up. Like I said, I used to be very, like, I watched Titanic. And I was like, yo, this is sad. But, like, I'm not crying. Watch The Notebook. Oh, yo, this is sad. But I'm not crying. <laughs> and then I, like, ugh, have kids. And I'm just, like everything gets me now commercials tv shows little like advertisements oh, i guess that's commercials still <laughs> wait your mom always cries during the scene in titanic when the mom reads the story uh with of nanoc to her kids i'm trying to remember oh oh yeah oh oh you're gonna give me my feels that part is super sad in titanic I actually haven't watched Titanic since having kids. I probably shouldn't watch it, honestly, at this point. I'll just bawl my eyes out the whole time. <laughs> that scene is, like, really tough, too. Oh, man. I don't blame your mom. I don't blame your mom whatsoever. I always cried on Pooh's Heffalump movie when I was younger. I couldn't even finish it. <laughs> oh, Simon. That's a good movie, though. I used to love the Winnie the Pooh movies and show and everything. I used to love Winnie the Pooh, which feels like a very like 90s thing to, to love, you know? <laughs> I don't know why, it just feels like it. I'm not loving his eyes. 
Um, oh, let me change his eyeball size. Bring him down a bit. Yeah, that looks better. His eyeballs are just so giant, you know? Oh my gosh, the beginning of Up, yes. So sad. So sad, oh my goodness. But it's true, like, <laughs> I like have a really hard time watching all that stuff now. So it's just kind of wild how much of that like changes when you have kids and, and whatnot. They really change your personality. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope we can get nice and cozy, enjoy the stream. Honestly, I think his eyes look better. I mean, they feel kind of still far apart, but I think that's just like how he's supposed to look. Oh, I think it's raining outside. No wonder it was cooler today. Uh, I don't usually cry, but in my Italian class a year ago, we watched Life is Beautiful when the dad protects his son by making the concentration camp a game to save him. And when the Americans pick up the kid and the mom picks the kids up, oof. Oof, I know what you're talking about. That one is, oof. That one definitely gets you in your feels. I'll always remember the first time I showed Titanic to my childhood friend. I was bawling my eyes out when the ship was sinking, the old couple and so on. I look over my friends laughing so hard. I asked her why and she was like, but imagine being an extra sliding down the ship. <laughs> it must be so fun. That's true. When you put it in the perspective like, oh, this is a movie, it definitely makes things a lot more, uh, definitely funny and bearable <laughs> for sure. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh, it says I with. Um, I wanted to do distance, just like a smidge. There we go. And then his eyebrows, I was just going to change the curve of them just a smidge. There. Doesn't he already look so much better? Right? Right? I haven't even done anything. Anything with animals makes you cry, humbug. Oh, mine really is has become just um, like very mom or like parent related stuff, kids stuff, kids and like parents losing each other or stuff like that is just like really hard for me to watch now. The old couple was actually a real life couple. Yes, you're right, Ginger Socks. I remember seeing that too. I used to be the biggest fan of Titanic because, duh, Leonardo DiCaprio, you know? Love Titanic though. Such a good movie. If you haven't seen it, you gotta watch it at least once. You have to. Uh, Darling Dress, welcome back, lovely. I was watching a Mother's Day video my grandma's church made and they were playing the beginning song from Up and I almost cried from the song alone. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes, that's a good one though. The soundtrack I feel like of Up is very recognizable, you know? Um, uh, Wait, someone had the audacity to show me the cut of Cora, Jack's girl, dying? Wait, from Titanic? The Strauss couple, the husband created Levi Strauss jeans. Oh. That's so cool. There's actually some really cool like facts and stuff with like the movie of Titanic and whatnot. Thank you, darling Jess. I appreciate that. It's from Madewell. I got it last summer. Uh, it's super cute. I don't, I don't know. I want to wear puffy sleeves because they're super adorable, but I feel like every time on me, I just don't like it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know when you really like a trend and you put it on and you're like, <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of how I feel, but I do like it and it, I, don't I need to do laundry <laughs> oh the good dinosaur that's a good one although the part there's a part in there that makes me cry from laughing so hard every time I watch it and I can't I don't want to say because I don't want to spoil it but it's so funny yes he'll be getting some new hair and a new outfit for sure mitochondria yes Simon that Amazon commercial is um or wait Oh, no, not an Amazon commercial. There is a good Amazon commercial that was out this past winter. A Christmas ad of an Amazon-like service with a grandpa buying a set to learn English so he could talk to his grandchild that lived in the UK. He lived in Poland. Almost everyone in Poland cried on the ad. Oh, that's sweet. Oh. Oh, wait, they're their owners are Macy's? Okay. I knew it was like something like that where it was like clothing or something. No, oh, Oscar. I think what gets me in Titanic too, though, is the fact that like people actually experience those feelings. I think that's what always gets me, is the fact that like people actually had to go through that, and that's I think the most heartbreaking part of it. That people actually had to experience that like 
that scaredness and that fright and that like, uh, I don't know, just all of it is just really a, a tough thing when you really put it into like perspective, I think, you know, I think that makes it really difficult. I haven't seen the outsiders. My grandpa tells me, or my grandma tells me she was 10 when real Titanic went down. Wow. That is so cool. That is so cool. You don't like puffy sleeves or long sleeves with lace on the end. I, I mean, I do love a good lace moment, but, um, yeah, I like, I've been wanting to wear like cute, more like cottage core cute stuff for the summer. I actually got some dresses for mother's day for my mom and they're super cute. I don't know why I'm too like nervous to wear them, which never used to be me. I used to just wear whatever the heck I wanted to wear and no, no worries about it. I don't know why I just become very nervous. I'm like, I don't know. I just like lost my touch. <laughs> I used to really love like fashion and whatnot. Um, I don't know. And I still love it. I just get nervous about participating in trends now. Fam, I think we're kind of good. I don't want to change up too much of him. I think it might make his eyes a little bit smaller. But I think he's looking pretty good. You have a love-hate relationship with puffy sleeves. I see people wear them and I'm like, they're so cute. And then I put it on and I'm just like, that's not how they looked. <laughs> um, ah, oh, Anastasia. Wait, is this similar to like the Anastasia story from like Disney? Cause that's such a good movie. Or it's not Disney. It's like some other thing, company or whatever. But that movie is so good. Um, my con, you have sensory issues, so you dress for comfort, not trends. I used to just dress like super trendy, especially when I worked at H&M. We were kind of, you know, pressured a bit to stay up with trends and stuff. Um, but as I've had kids and stuff and being a mom, like I don't like having to have like restricting clothes or un something uncomfortable, especially because I'm oftentimes picking up kids or carrying someone and so to be comfortable is more important to me now. It's definitely changed. Uh, I used to wear like the most uncomfortable clothes that now I'm like, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Guilty pleasure of mine is when I have a bad day and just feel like I want to cry, but want a legit excuse to do so. I put in like, P.S. I love you. I'll walk to, oh, I'll walk to remember. So good. My sister's keeper, the notebook or anything with a pet dying. Boom. Life hack. <laughs> This is it now. I haven't watched any movies like that in a really long time. Mostly because I don't want to cry. I just, I don't want to, you know. <laughs> but I get that. That's a good life hack. Um, yes, Simon, please share the ad on Discord. Feel free to do so. Cottagecore is your ultimate aesthetic. I would love to dress like so much more cottagecore and just like breezy and comfortable and cute. I just want that, you know. To have some dreams. I scared the crap out of me. I'm crying. I shall take a drink. I'm crying. Okay. I'm crying again. Oh, that scared me. I've never been so scared in my life. <laughs> Kiara, thank you so much, Lovia. Fish out with my drink, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Milano Vac has decided to get extra cozy and comfy. Oh my goodness. Mila Novak, lovely. Thank you so much for that sub. Thank you so much, lovely. Can we get some love going on in the chat? <laughs> get the love going for drinking our drinks <laughs> for, for Mila Novak. My goodness. And a stretch from Andrew. Everyone take a stretch. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you hear my joints popping? <laughs> oh, I didn't do. Oh, my spine just aligned. I needed that. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, oh, my spine just completely aligned. Holy crap. Hi, Brady Blades. Welcome on in. How are you? 
We were having a stretch break. Oh, no, Jamie, you were tabbed out of the window as well. <laughs> I think I might adjust the, the volume settings on that one. I just added that one in today. I was testing out channel points because uh, some of you said you wanted some channel point sound alerts. So if there's certain ones you'd like me to add in, I added in an extra special drink one. <laughs> it scared the heck out of me. Most of my male hair is from uh, Panda Labs. That's where I get really a majority of my stuff. Yeah, Brady plays the husband a little while. I'm glad you could join us. I hope you're having a good weekend. They totally did the sim dirty. Ooh, the gray hair, though. Such a vibe. Should we make his eyebrows matte? Oh. What? <laughs> Why is it so light? I feel like we need to make it darker. Ooh. Yes. So much better. Oh, no. Nope. I want it like in between those two tones, I think. Oh, well, actually, maybe not. That's better, right? I like that he's going gray. I think this beard color looks a little bit better. Should I darken it more? Maybe I should darken it some more. I hate that there's like a green tone to this too. Um, his hair actually had a green tone to it, so I might adjust that. Ooh, that's better. Actually, maybe I should test out a different facial hair on him. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, it might be scary, but still love it. <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. He's a hottie now, he is. Yeah, it has like a blue, gray, green tone to it. Don't know what's going on with that. Um. Ooh, I kind of like that. Like five o'clock shadow vibes, you know? Let me go in. Actually, I like this hairstyle a lot for him. I was still testing out hairs. But this one just kind of fits his vibe, right? Maybe we should just go with this one. I want to get it from this like green color. Okay. Sorry, I'm just making it so it's all the same. Um, he has gray. Like that. And then his roots need to be kind of gray too. Yeah. Ooh. This might be a little dark. What do we think on this? Okay, a little bit darker. Nah. What do we think on this? Do we like this? What a babe. I really didn't change too much with him too. You think I should have kept his hair slicked back? I kind of like this one. Wait, with the slick back hair? Hammy reminds me of the bad guy from Titanic, look-wise. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I get that. I get that. I do think he's cuter than him, but I get that. Hmm. Oh man, what do we think? This one's a little too young for him. I don't really like that one. I feel like he would have his very like styled. Even something like that. I don't know. I kind of really like the one we had on him. Wherever that one, this one. This one just really fits his style. <gasps> Ooh, this facial hair has makeup and you can adjust the opacity. That's cool. A makeover totally did him good. Hi, too spooky for you. Yes, enjoy your lurk, lovely. I'm glad you can join us. I know, the, the slick back hair really does it for him. I think we can go with this. I can do it. We are going to give him body hair because he has like none. I'm going to keep it kind of minimal. I feel like he would maybe wax it or something for movies, you know. He's not gonna have too much hair. Also, his body shape's a little, a little interesting. His shoulders are really wide, but his hips are extremely narrow. I might go in and I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. Yes. Oh, I've seen some uh, different uh, EA retextures um, going around Tumblr recently, which is super, super cool. Um, I might give him some eye bags. Late nights working and 
Nope, none there. Give him maybe a nose mask. Oh, that one's like perfect for him. He has a bit more of a pink undertone. New. Too pink. Actually, it might be too light. Might need to go a little bit darker. And like that. Is that good? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I do have a face shadow. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this face shadow working. It doesn't always like to work for me. It can be really difficult. But sometimes it can look really good on certain sims, so we'll test it out. I don't want it to look too dirty, like his face is dirty or anything. It's just supposed to give like a little bit of definition. I don't know what this is. Do you want to see what this is? So without and then with. I kind of like it. That actually looks really good. Skipping those squats. <laughs> I, I mean, it might just be his bones. Like, his bones are literally just like this. Um, let me see. Hip size. I just want to make it so it's, like, a little bit more equal. Like, that just even itself looks better. We don't have to make it too dramatic because I don't want to take away from his actual body shape, you know? He is skipping leg day. He really is skipping leg day. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, I might adjust his leg width a bit, too. There we go. It's a little better. It's a little better. We'll go with it. He's looking real good. He's looking real good. Like a Dorito chip. Stop, that's too funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. His body looks like a Dorito chip. <laughs> Oh my god, matching uh, makeup to skin tones can be really difficult. I do not blame you. I do not blame you, Andrew. <gasps> Thank you, Simon. I appreciate that. If you want to cry, fam, go watch <laughs> Simon's ad that he shared. <laughs> oh, that's going to be so. I'm, I'm going to check that one out for sure. Hopefully, I don't cry. I'll check it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh welcome on in shroom thank you so much lovely welcome on in raiders the fun guys heck yes welcome welcome on in my name is Brittany or girl Miss pixels feel free to call me whichever we play a lot of sims 3 sims 2 here along with games like stardew valley animal crossing occasionally oh my goodness <laughs> Emic Sim grabbed another cup of tea for two more months. Back again. Back again. Emic Sim, lovely. Thank you so much for that reset for two heckin' months. Fam, can we get some love welcoming in uh, Emic Sim and uh, Shroom Boy and all the wonderful raiders? Welcome on in. What were you doing, Shroom? What were you doing? Oh, you were playing Sims 4. What was going on in your Sims game? Also, thank you. Oh, my thing is squeaking. So sorry. <laughs> thank you so much uh, for all those follows. I really appreciate it as well. Welcome on into the Pixel fam. Glad to have you join us today. Uh, hi, friends. Hi, Shroom. How are ya? How was your stream? What'd you do? We're currently right now um, giving Matthew Hamming from the... Uh, late night expansion pack town of Bridgeport a makeover and he's looking real nice <laughs> We just gave him a little bit of a little face lift and stuff, you know uh, but He's looking real cute. So we're about to change his outfit and then hop into some more gameplay. Oh My gosh, you're doing a WandaVision storyline in The Sims 4. Okay. I absolutely love that That is so cool. I played The Sims for six hours where everything was black and white I could never. <laughs> I could never. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love that. That's so creative. Well, thank you so much again uh, for sending your sweet community on over here. I really appreciate it. And uh, totally understand if you need to, you know, stretch and go grab a snack or whatever. But uh, we're glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you again. I love that. That's so cool. I haven't seen WandaVision, but I feel like I've seen WandaVision because so many people shared stuff about it. I'm sure I saw a few uh, spoilers as well on like Tumblr and stuff like that. So 
<laughs> I feel like I've watched it, you know, but I actually haven't. Um, but oh, it's so cool. So creative. Um, so Matthew Hamming here is a celebrity. So we kind of need to give him that celebrity look like he's a little, you know, too old to be dressing like that, but it's okay. Cause he's famous. <laughs> and that's the vibe we're going for. So somewhere in there, you cried uh, at WandaVision too. Yes, please don't spoil it for me in case I do, in case I do want to watch it at some point in my life, <laughs> which would be nice, you know? Oh my gosh, look at the giant scarf. Such a vibe, <laughs> such a vibe. I don't think that fully fits his style. Um, wait, what's his traits again? Maybe that might help me. Oh, charismatic, commitment issues, flirty, great kisser, and a perfectionist. And he wants to become a superstar actor. He likes steak, classical music, and the color orange. He's a cancer sign. Okay. Actually, this thing that he has on, like the jacket, I kind of like that. I wasn't even meaning to, but I kind of like that. Um, Mac, thank you so much. Yes, go enjoy your lunch. Go enjoy. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted pants. <laughs> I needed some jeans or something. Actually, jeans would look really nice with this. I don't think I would want to do... S oh, the slacks aren't bad. I think jeans might just be a little bit nicer. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on into the Pixel fam. Oh... Oh, these are kind of nice. These are from Showtime. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know. Those are actually really nice. I never use those. Also, these shoes. Why does he have like slip on shoes? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome on in. Glad to have you. Um, okay, let's give him a pair of different shoes. I actually might give him something a little bit nicer, like designer shoes or something like that. Um, maybe like something like this. Yeah. He's looking styling. I'm going to recolor it. But I'm actually really liking this look for him. So that's with like a blue option. And this is like a tan. Ooh, the tan is actually really nice on him. And the gray. I think it's summertime right now. So I think going with like this kind of like tan color, I might add a little bit more. Well, nope. Just take it back. I actually really like it. Let me see pants wise what we can do with this. Typically, you would want to do like a matching. I don't want him like matchy matchy. Let me see what that would look like. Maybe. But maybe we'll go in and make it so it's. Uh, uh, maybe I should match it. Like he's just wearing a casual suit. This looks too fancy, right? Hammy Dicky the comfy style <laughs> with the slip ons. Heck yes. Styling. I like the brown shoes and I like the top. Is this too extra? What do famous people wear? <laughs> what do famous people wear? Maybe this darker color on the pants? I don't want it to be matchy matchy. Like I, that wasn't my original intent with it. What is this song? I'm just gonna say no to that one. Yes, oh, okay, Anthony, you and I, same wavelength. I think the pants kind of matching this gray cuff might be better, but I might Do like that. <laughs> I don't know. Darker? Should I go white pants? Yes. Lighter? I don't know. He's not even in our household, so I don't know if I like care too much. <laughs> um, okay, but it is summer, so that's like what has me torn on it. Okay, I actually really liked. I think we're gonna try and make this work. We'll say it's like very trendy right now. No problem, Simon. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Go enjoy and uh, have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Ah, I'm sorry. My, I need to WD-40 this. I'm telling myself today, Brittany, you got to WD-40 your, your mic arm because this is too much, girl. Yes, Anthony, we are playing in Bridgeport, which is such a gorgeous world. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. Wait, is he married? Or does he just put a ring there? Why does he have that? <laughs> no, Pixel Blobs. Hi, lovely. Welcome on in, by the way. Good morning to you. Happy Monday. 
All of a sudden, a freaking moth flies into my face. No, 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 no. How are you, lovely? We actually checked out the, we worked on the house a little bit today that you sent me. So we were talking about you earlier. <laughs> we were talking about how awesome you are. Um, no, Oscar, I probably, I don't want to say I'll never play The Sims 4, but it's just not something I really have interest in. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. What's Matthew doing? Oh, yeah. We gotta go feed our turtle tortilla. Okay, everyone is in the bathroom. Everyone out. Ooh, I should save. So we don't lose this makeover, because I've already had my game crash today. Um, but yeah, no, Sims 4 just isn't my jam. So I probably won't end up ever playing it on stream. But never say never, you know? Just like Justin Bieber says, never say never. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get more water. But stream's gonna be ending here in a little bit. I'll just drink the little, the little bit we have left. Okay, so you're with my Sim Nicole here who just recently bought this mansion. Like, girl. She bought a mansion. <laughs> so cool. This comes with Bridgeport. It has like this beautiful view of the city. Um, and she is an aspiring actress. So it just kind of made sense for her to be able to have her own place. She was in the to have some drinks. Drink, 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 drink. Hey. <laughs> I have no water. They keep scaring the crap out of me. I need to lower the sound of that. <laughs> I don't have a drink. And Jeremy, you're gonna make me have to get up and go get a drink. New people to scare. <laughs> we have new sound alerts, fam. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. That is too much. <laughs> it's an extra special hydrate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he eating a grilled cheese? Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. Yes, Pixel Blobs. You have to watch back. I've been reading because I found this app that has books and I found one I can't I can't put down. Doesn't help that you're starting to get the sniffles. Oh, send my love to you. I hope you can get feeling better soon. But um, I'm glad you can join us for a bit. And that sounds awesome. I'm getting to read. I've actually just been thinking recently how I so badly want to read. <laughs> oh my gosh. What kind of sound alerts uh, for pixel points would you all uh, prefer to have? Oh, she needs to go film in a dress. Okay, we're gonna send her to go get some stuff done early um, before she has work here in a bit. We really need to work on her celebrity status, which can be such a pain because I have to turn it off and on. Da da da. Um, yes. Oh my goodness, Amanda, I definitely will be lowering the sound. I don't have access to it right now. Let me see. She's driving to work, or well, not to work, but to um, an event thing that she has to do. So, ah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm happy to type stuff in. She's taking the subway, good for her. Maybe we should get her a car. Maybe we need to get her a car soon. Okay, I lowered it down. <laughs> I added that one quickly this morning. I haven't had a chance to, uh, I didn't get to fully test test it. All of them, Andrew, all of them. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'll have to uh, look into someone's ad. Whoa, this giant, this is, uh, this city hall is giant, I feel like. This is cute, they actually landscaped this really nicely. I feel like other city halls are like not that cute, you know? I know, right, Oscar? Like, she just gives, like, actress vibes. Just, like, with how she looks and everything. She's just stunning. Jamie, y'all. Wait, what's y'all? <laughs> Wait, y'all for what? When I finally set up and stream again, I'll be getting my hand-raised sheep's boss as they all sound different. Oh, that's cute. I love how, like, personal that will be and stuff. I love that. Wait, Sketchbook Pixels has a second CC store? Yes, I did. It's like um, for kids stuff and whatnot. Yeah, I did know about that. But they don't have to be like Lil John shouting at us. <laughs> oh, man. 
No, you're all good, darling, darling dress. You're all good. Um, we just finished up Matthew Hermes makeover, and that's kind of it. Sorry, my cuckoo clock. It's still an hour behind. I thought it wasn't. <laughs> I thought it wasn't. Uh, wait, Inspector's Hideout. Oh, yes, that's the name of it. That's the name of it. I was like, what's an Inspector's Hideout? She's going to be late to work, dang it. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on into the Pixel fam. Welcome, welcome. Jamie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought everyone knew. <laughs> I thought everyone knew. I know. It has some really cute stuff. I actually don't think I've downloaded anything from it yet. Uh, but yeah, they don't really have it. It is pretty hidden. It is pretty hidden. Which I don't know if that's like, the point of it. Oh, 350 simoleons. Heck yes. And increase her career performance, which she needs because she's late to work. Girl, get to work. I need to fix her bottoms on that. Travel across town. Round town. I'm shook. <laughs> Poor Jamie. Poor Jamie. Yeah, there's some really cute items on it. You'll have to, um, if you want to, if you want to share it on the Discord, on our uh, CC finds. That way for other people that maybe didn't know it like you. That'd be super uh, helpful for others. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward through all of this. Wait, what's happening? What is happening? Is there a fire happening? This isn't even our house. Why am I... Why am I being taken here? Who is this? Okay. Oh, also she got a raise. Good for her. That was so weird. Okay, have fun fighting that fire. <laughs> Has nothing to do with me, though. Okay, then. Uh, it's been like a year or two, or maybe two, since Frankie first uploaded on there. Ah, oh, wow. Interesting. I only recently found it. Oh, thank you, mitochondria. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, if you guys want to check that out for sure. Sorry, my mom is calling me. I'll have to call her back here in a few minutes. I want everything. <laughs> Do it. Oh, no, I can't reach the fire. Hopefully, it will burn out on its own. Well, that's... Thank you, Polar, for that posture check. I need to actually take my feet down. Not sit on my feet. Oh, my goodness. I will sit up straight. Thank you so much for that posture check. I appreciate it. Everyone, if you're slouching and you're sitting in a chair, make sure I sit up. Thank you, Pixel Blobs. I should save my game. Although nothing really has happened, but... No shame in it. Oh, mitochondria. That's going to be so awesome on your new computer, for sure. That'll be awesome. Okay. I don't, I know we didn't really do too much with Nicole today since <laughs> my game crashed and all that fun stuff. But um, I'm hoping, I really am hoping for her to get the want or the wish to have a baby or something. I don't know if that's going to happen. But I want her to adopt. That's my biggest thing. I really want her to adopt. Um, a child or a baby or something. I don't know. Maybe a toddler. I don't know what, who she's going to adopt, but it's going to be so much fun. Oh, I'm excited. Spoil the heck out of that kid. I feel like she needs more money, though. I think it's my biggest thing. I really want her to... Oh, she's so close. I should have had her work hard so that she could have... Wait. Oh, she did. Oh, yes. She got promoted to production manager. Um... Heck yes. She makes 84 simoleons per hour. Not bad. She also wants to befriend all her coworkers, so maybe we should throw a party. Directing career branch. That's not what she wants to do, though. She wants to go in the acting branch. Raphael got a... Good, good for him. He got a promotion, too. Um. Okay. She also wants to still go on a date with Raphael, who is in a relationship. She also wants to cuddle in the hot tub with Matthew. <laughs> um... I'm thinking for her, um, adoption is the direction we're going to go, you know? Yes, Pixel Blobs. She does have her mansion. She got it the last time we played her. We've picked one out, and it's beautiful. It's one of the ones that just comes with Bridgeport. Uh, we're going to, like, slowly renovate it. Um, I'm trying to have her just, you know, gain more money. Um, but, yeah, this is her house. Oh, it's totally her style, too. And once we, like, really change up the look of it, It'll just be gorgeous. But she has an amazing view of outside or of uh, Bridgeport. Is Matthew still here? No. 
It's our butler, though. Let's go talk to our butler. This is Camilla. She lives here now. Um, and let's go get to know her. We haven't really chatted with her since hiring her. And I guess we have to be friends with stuff with her to keep her here working. She's super gorgeous, too, so she might be a love interest. Yes, Nicole is a total player. She really, um... She doesn't necessarily have commitment issues, um, but she isn't really, she doesn't really tie down to anyone. She's never really been too tied down. But Camilla here is gorgeous, so. We could possibly use her last wish for fortune again. That's true. She does have one more wish from the genie. So we can see. I don't know. Um, maybe ask her sign. They're actually pretty decent. They're almost friends. They're just acquaintances. Okay. Should we go on a date with Raphael? Should we throw a little party? Like a little get together to befriend all her co-workers? Maybe we should do that. I think we're going to throw a party. To uh, get to know everyone. So. Let's see. We could call. Do we have a bar? I don't think we have a bar. Um, So we'll have to just call for services. Let's call for um, a pizza. And we'll turn some music on. What's her favorite music? Songwriter. That's right. Let's have a little get together in her empty apartment. <laughs> See what happens. Um, songwriter. Oh, Camilla is an Aquarius. Apparently that's not compatible, but with her, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, have to try everyone before you settle just in case you miss out on someone better. True. You got to explore all your options, <laughs> right? Oh, it's a late party. Let's do casual attire is fine. Coworkers. We're just going to invite all the coworkers. Alan's kind of creepy. Don't know if I want to invite him, but it's fine. Ooh, well, they're good friends. Like, do we invite Raphael? Because what if they like hit on each other? No, it's not too late. Are you kidding me? Nice. No. 8 p.m. Is this going to glitch out? What did I just do? Is this going to be tomorrow? <laughs> Is it going to be 8 p.m. tomorrow? <laughs> yes, Jamie, go download everything. Do it, do it. Oh my gosh, now I'm worried that we just scheduled a party for like, not now. <laughs> oh no, our dog Monroe is going to get taken away. Uh, oh my goodness, Monroe, let's let's spend time with you. And maybe play tug of war. Maybe I should just force everyone here. Is there another alien? Oh my gosh, you're totally selling like there was an alien spaceship. I think that was just in the music. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Dang it. I think we scheduled the party for like later. Dang it. <laughs> Relationships are like a pair of shoes. You gotta try before you buy. You gotta try before you buy. <laughs> Stop. That's too funny. That's too funny. Wait, Monroe doesn't want to play, really? We love you. I know we haven't been here to take care of you, but we love you. Okay, well, dang it. I think she's going to have to go to bed. Oh, ask the butler to cook. Oh, wait, we ordered a pizza. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> oh, man, I'm upset. Wait, what? No, no, no. That's not your bed. That's not your bed. Get out of there. <laughs> no. Okay, hold on. I have to go set her bed. Yeah, you're in the wrong bed, butler. Yes, we'll do a house tour. We'll do a house tour. Let me wake up uh, Camilla here. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like from the outside. It's kind of hard to, to see because of all the trees. Um, but it's like so cool. Um, I'm excited to change it up as we go. Uh, so when you first enter in... Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. oh, also we have a pond with a fountain. So cool. Sorry, it's a little laggy. Story of my life. Anyways, come on, game. Come on. Enter in. Foyer here, which we haven't decorated yet. 
uh, dining here, kitchen here is pretty small. Um, and then garage here, she has a boat that she just bought. Hallway that goes out to the pool. Bathroom here and then giant living room space where all the pets are right now. She really needs to get it decorated. Uh, so I might take some of her money soon and, and add that in. Giant pool and a hot tub area um, and some room to like add some entertainment stuff. And then you go upstairs. Um, upstairs, you then go into here and this is Nicole's bedroom, which is giant. Uh, the house is going to look so cool, fully furnished. It's going to be awesome. I've never really had mansions before for my Sims, so I'm excited. This is her bathroom. has mirrors around the toilet, so you can watch yourself go to the bathroom. Wonderful. <laughs> and then a giant balcony on this side, which I didn't even realize until literally today. And come around this way. This is going to be the future kids' room, possibly plural and their own bathroom. And then this is Camilla, our butler's room, which is actually a really nice space. She even has her kitchen, her own bathroom. She has her own balcony. So she's living the life. Our butler has a really nice life. So good for her. <laughs> good for her. Um, okay. I know nothing really interesting happened with Nicole. We tried to throw a party. Apparently that didn't work, but we are going to have to end stream and I don't want to, I don't want to. Um, Ooh, she should fish for the kissing guami fish to stock the pond with them. Ooh, that'd be cute. That'd be so cute. I'll have to look into that. I'll have to look into that. Um, I know I feel like you always know all the fish to catch. <laughs> you always know all the fish to catch. Um, real quick, I'm going to see who we can raid. Um, fam, I had so much fun today. We had so many tech difficulties so just thank you so much for being so patient with me and just hanging out with us camilla we need you to be at the party we need you to be a little buzz <laughs> stop you're too funny you're too funny um sorry i'm pulling up a few people's streams for us to check out um let's let's see okay i think we're going to go thank you so much fam sorry i'm trying to figure out who we're going to to raid um i'm trying to see make sure this person's not ending fam i hope next stream <laughs> i hope mercury retrograde won't curse me we will be um wait <laughs> The toilet and mirrors remind me of the boo-boo my sister made and, and hang in the toilet. It's a picture of one of our pet birds and it looks slash feels like the bird is staring at you. <laughs> Stop, that's too funny. That's too funny. Oh my gosh. I can't. <laughs> Imagine having just like these mirrors, just like, and a bird, <laughs> a bird picture. Um, fam. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to make sure that I don't think they're ending. Well, they might be ending. I don't know. Okay. I think we're going to go raid. Hmm. Okay. We're going to go raid Shimuzu. I think the person I wanted to raid, I think they're ending. So I don't know. There's actually so many people playing in The Sims 3 today. It's kind of wild. A calendar on the toilet. <laughs> Stop. Stop. It's too good. Okay. Let's go raid uh, Shimuzu. They're working on... Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. Um, they're working on a um okay, see, uh, I was watching Stella Sims, but then it looked like she was ending. So then I was like, <laughs> I want to rate everyone. I want to rate everyone. Oh my goodness, can we just go raid everyone? Um, anyways, we're going to go raid Shimuzu. Uh seriously, such a sweetheart. And they're playing a legacy challenge and they're doing like courses and building like a farm or something. I don't know what they're building right now, but it looks really cool. Let's go give some um, wonderful love on over to them. Uh, we have our regular raid message and our sub raid message. Um, if you are sub and you like to copy that one with our emotes, let's go get some wonderful love. I will be live again on Tuesday. Um, I'm not even in the right screen. Tuesday. <laughs> at 8 30 p.m mountain time uh feel free to follow over on twitter and discord i always announce on there when i'm gonna be live so yeah thank you so much for all the love please take care of yourselves drink lots of water like i'm about to go do okay everyone drink 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 yeah 
like little John's yelling at you. And uh, we'll see you on Tuesday, okay? Thank you so much, fam. And uh, take care of yourselves, okay? Bye, bye, bye.